podcast is part of the Sports Social Podcast Network. What did Wilder come in at weight-wise, man? He looks thin, like doesn't two, he? Two he's, he's back at the weights where he, he was him. a little bit early in his career. He's on a racing gear by Wikipedia. Oh, he looks, t- he looks small, thin, doesn't he? Didn't eat for three weeks after the frogs are... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 2.13. So Parker's got about, what, 10, 20, 30-odd pounds on him. Hmm. Right, need to resync him, boys, because this is about to kick off for me. Right. Good man, Danny. <clears throat> I've got a meeting in the middle of the ring right now. Referee... Well, hold on, I pause this talking thing for you. Keep Matty happy. Hold on. Referee's giving instructions. Let Cold me know when stare. you get to 247 and I'll press play. Cold stare from, <laughs> from Deontay Wilder. I said to him, Rob, there's no chance I'm stopping my stream. It might never start again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fuck it. I'm leaving a call. <laughs> you on the way yet? We're almost there, Mr. Young. Jesus. Yeah, fight, fight hasn't started for me. You're getting water in the corner. Yeah, same. I've got the same as you. I'm about to... I've paused it at 227, so... Oh, Atheus. No, I won't fuck that. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see what's going on. <laughs> and the fight is on. While they're moving around the outside. Yeah, he's circling early. Like, it's not, there's not much happening early. He's feet actually looks... I don't know if the... Yeah, he looks better than before. Like, he's getting around the ring nice and... Skinny legs, yeah, skinny, skinny legs, legs, skinny legs, skinny legs, skinny legs man. When, when you're when you're the type of puncher that Deontay Wilder is, Rob, I would just try to focus on on the speed, which isn't going to be attained with him at 225, 230. This is where I'd actually like to see Wilder. Listen, I'm a big puncher in a lot of ways. Uh, what was I going to say to you? A fucking, it's actually I was looking at something. Other night, even though Tyson was five foot eleven, him and Wilder are on the same weight. Um. For most of the the, the title fights, Tyson keeps Tyson was five eleven and a half. We think he's coming mm-hmm. in at two two uh, two fifteen two twelve. Like wasn't Ali fighting two ten to two twenty ish a lot most of his career? Maybe two twenty five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely with a lot, lot smaller. Like yeah, especially before the break. Just not a whole lot going on this first round. Uh, neither guy has really made their mark on anything. Not even really seen Wilder work that jab. Yeah, he's not push. He's not push. He's. I think he's just looking to flick the jab to throw it right over. By the looks of it, he's not pumping the jab does, at all. Yeah. That's what he does. Yeah, Parker he's got that le- really. lead left hand up a little bit higher, like Scott worked on before with Hellenius. The kind of blind fellas as they're coming in, he, he looks like he blind himself sometimes. But you just just yeah. see how the, you see how the thickness of Parker's legs compared to Wilder's though. It's yeah. scary. Isn't it? Skinny mm-hmm. ankles, and he, but it doesn't seem to like. This, you think you think with a physique like that, if he got hit on the chin, he'd go over, but you have to nail the fucker to the canvas as you see with the Fury fight. Like, he fucking get back yeah. up again. Like, mm-hmm. no, he does show he, he does like a leg wobble though when he takes when he took a big punch yeah. in those fights. But like, other than that, you're right, Rob. Yeah, he, 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 can, he can hang about though. There's no, there's yeah, no what he's had him in trouble too. And he was a big puncher, like, he had him fucking gone well, wobbly, like, in one in the first fight, I think, and then the equalizer comes out. Not as basically coming out the last 20 seconds, there was zero action in this round. Like, yeah. hard one to score, actually. Who the fuck do you give this to? Like, Packers forcing it, they give it to him. 40 seconds left in the round, and I don't think either of them has necessarily landed a punch. You have well, to give that right, a, 10, 10, a little bit of a like right this. hand over the top by Parker, right there. The lowest weight Walder was ever at was his debut 207. Fuck. That's quite light. I know. I don't like to look at this crazy frog for Wilder. He looks. He looks like he doesn't want to engage. It's not. Uh, not circling it. That was a boring. I wish I could give it in a nine nine round because it's too much shit. Give that one ten ten. Hold on. Let me get. <laughs> yeah, nothing much to speak here. I, I think maybe Parker threw a one right hand over the top, but I, I tend to score this round even. I just don't think there's a purpose in doing anything. Parker for, round one, Matty. Tommy Max saying, Matt Butters is saying the same. James Winder says, I'm having a curry on Christmas Day. So that's uh, good news from yeah, him. Yeah, I can see why they've scored it for That was well more interesting in the first round. Mm-hmm. I can see why they've scored it for Parker, though, because obviously they just been on the front foot. A couple of wee shots there. No much in it, obviously, but what is it? Effective aggression? This, you got to I, get I just... There can't give that round to anybody. I just can't. You're going to punish them both, Matty? Like naughty children? 
I, I, well, I don't know if you're punishing them both as so much as just saying that neither one of them deserved anything off of that. So we're going to go into our handy beta app, guys, and we're going to put our scores in, right? No. Steve, just notice that Des said in the, in the chat there that he said when round two starts, I want to get sync up, so let us know. Okay. Uh, also, I want to know if James Windsor, well, I want to say to James Windsor, a korma is not a curry, mate. So. Oh, no, that's for virgins. Yeah, that's it. Right, and round two. Round two now, Des. Well, it is on. Well, that's on, Des. There you go. No, mine hasn't started yet, round two. I'm 30 seconds into round two. <laughs> <laughs> mine has now. I'm 247. <laughs> Steve, can we add that we did try in the week to try some technological advancements? We did. We did, me and Danny met up. Well, just to fill it in, Pagas yeah. kind of started a little bit more aggressive. He's thrown a couple of wild shots and Wilder still hasn't re- really responded with anything. He just look, he just, Wilder just looks like he's waiting his moment, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's not, nothing because nothing has landed cleanly for Good either Good double guy jab from Packer there. Packer going to the body. He's trying to make a fight with it anyway. He looks very patient. But he, it, feels like, it feels like he's just going to be fucking evaporated any second, though, you know, that way. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like we're, we're waiting for the inevitable, but he's Parker's definitely the one forcing the action in this round. If Wilder could throw an uppercut, I think it would be there for him because Parker's yeah, gone yeah, over yeah. the front foot, hasn't he, a couple of times? He doesn't have much of an underneath game. No, uh, but, you, no, but you do exactly. have to remember he uh, he did finish off Ortiz with an uppercut, and I think that was in their first encounter. Yeah, it was like a scything sort of hook uppercut, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. He, needs but he, had already... Foreman, he needs that George Foreman uppercut that he hits. Who the fuck did he knock out with that one? Oh, Jerry Coney, remember that one? A little bit of yeah. a decent right hand by Parker there. Bet with about a minute 40 in the uh, left to go. Yeah, the, like, this this is Parker's round. He's forcing Wilder to the ropes now. Wilder's tying up. Wilder not looking... He's looking comfortable, but not... He doesn't want to give too many rounds away, I don't think, Wilder. Mm-hmm. He used to get to work, I think, soon. Yeah, I think so, man. He doesn't want to... Definitely off the job, away. at least. At least, because yeah. even when Breland had him, you remember the first of our fight, he had the fucking pumped the jab all night. And I thought him and Scott were working on that, but it just seems like they're content to wait on the chance for the opening foot with Parker. Yeah, well, Parker's they... not holding his feet that long. He's not really, he's not moving his head massively, but he's not really giving him a static target. You know, think... when he ju- when they went into that clinch, Rob, you're a bit ahead of us, but Wilder just missed with a short right hand uh, as Parker was coming in. So I kind of see some of the shots that he's looking for um, in this contest. Yeah, he's just, it's, it's boring as fuck though there for the first two rounds. It's like, Wilder doesn't seem to want to engage, doesn't want to jab. He's just waiting for that one right hand opening and Packer's kind of making hay where the sun shines. Like he's getting busy, he's doubling the jab. Yeah, Wilder's done fuck all so far, but like like I said, I, it just, I, the end of round two there just feels like we're waiting on the inevitable. Wilder's looking like shit, says Tommy. Dez says, I don't like the look of Wilder in this. Getting Wilder Ortiz 2 vibes, says Beat Bot Boop. He was losing that fight, wasn't he, against Ortiz? Yeah, until it was over. Yeah, bang, all of a sudden, lights out. 2 0 Parker says, Matt There's been mad fights he's been losing all the way up to the fucking point that he knocked the guy. Like, there's loads of fights that he's been behind in, or he has looked like shit in till he equalizes. But this is very comfortable for Parker. I know it's only two rounds in, but it's very comfortable for him so far. I think Parker needs to get on his chest. I think I think he that it makes Wilder uncomfortable when he has someone set on top of him. It just it just brings me back to that Malik Scott line when he was talking about when they knocked out Hellenius, like when he was when they were talking about like why is he holding the lead hand high, and he was like it's just as a blinder, and when you put your head there, your life's on the line. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know, like if he wants to be, if he wants to hang around too long in there, but he's doing good in the fight so far, Packer. But it's a better fight than I thought it would be, to be honest with you. I know we're only two rounds in, but it's, it looks better than I thought it would. Oh, I would have been a bit more active now. Andy Lee asking for jab to the body, right hand at the head. Similar to what Frank Sanchez done earlier. Oof. So Wilder missed by a hair, by a hair there on the way, as Packer was on the way in. So he's obviously waiting for him to lunge and then try to counter him. Yeah. 
Caught up in the clinch right now. He pulled that right hand just a fraction too low. Yeah, didn't he? It was a hair. Oh, a hair he, just, he pulled it just the final second. I hate to say this, but he looks slightly gun shy, Wilder. It doesn't, it's like it's not, like, the, what's stopping him from walking straight to Parker here? What's the stopping him? Like? The hands could be hurting. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's 38 now. Yeah, true. 38 looks about fucking 24. Is that Wabi Saka that he's smoking? Or we... the ayahuasca. <laughs> Oof, big right hand from Parker just misses. They're going to clinch ref, breaks it. Wilder dabbing at his eye a bit, it looks like. Uh, yeah, this isn't, this isn't the inspiring for Wilder, I'll put it that way. I mean, you can only go in recent form if he's fighting Joshua like this, man. Jesus Christ. He's not really boxing, is he, Andy? That's the thing. No, you can't he's say moving. he's back foot boxing. He's just moving. Yeah, he's, he's not even from the jab. He's not committing. Well, he's committed a couple of jabs against that. Tavern. He threw the jab at least, but he's not. He's not really throwing it at all. This is it's not. Yeah, it's a terrible look for him so far in this fight. Like it's, I still see it ending the way we all predict this going, but yeah. it's just he was only a he was only a hair away from catching him in the. I think he's. Mm-hmm. I think he's. I don't think he's want to get hurt. Yeah, it looks. That, I just thought that way. It looks that way. Very uncomfortable. Oh, tries the uppercut. Now it's taking like, taking a bit of. Catch a fire in the corner, but again, Parker looking very comfortable. He's pulling back for sure. Yeah. Can you imagine like if, like, on his uh, his awakening with ayahuasca, Parker like... beating him to the jab actually he looked like he stiffened him up a bit with a left hand. Sorry, guys, thirty but, second mark. I let just catch up. You just wonder if uh, his ayahuasca journey was like the universe, like saying, "This is what you have done to other people." Yeah, and now he's like so afraid of getting hit. Like, ah, oh, fuck! This is the realm you knocked fucking ninety-one fucking percent of your opponents into. Oh, we it... tried the uppercut there, and the one I yeah. saw. Interesting. Yeah, strong in the final yeah. seconds. Yeah. Tried two of them. Yeah. Hey, that jab put him back on that back foot. Yeah, yeah. look like he, he's Parker. Parker's up. Parker could be three rounds up on a lot of cards. Yeah. But hey, that jab moved him, didn't it? On getting to the ropes, that. Yeah. I feel like I feel like Wilder needs to be hurt before he actually livens up or like yeah, yeah, possibly. Oh, I'll get woken up. Almost like yeah. he doesn't know he's in a fight yet. Yeah, no, that's I need right. to go and get yeah. a cup of tea before I fall asleep. Yeah. Well. Very well, lack today. Parker's really. getting Never confidence played. now. He's stepping into some of these shots. <laughs> like the like the double jab from Parker tonight. In the end of the round there for me. Yeah, like the double jab from Parker's working well. Um he, like I said, he's not holding his feet too long. He's not really moving his head, but He's not having to because Wilder's not fucking really offering anything, is he? He's just fucking circling around him. Like. Yeah, exactly. He's not doing nothing. He's not even, as I say, he's, the jab, even that, he's cut loose a couple of right hands, but he's missed the, the ones that he has thrown. Um, just he's doing nothing off, you know, running the perimeter of that ring. And you've seen Parker just at the end of that third round there. He's, he's, I think he's starting to fancy it a little bit now. He's getting confident. Somebody said this is like Wilder versus Charlie Zellinoff. <laughs> <laughs> right, right four underway. I wouldn't say. I think Wilder's looking a little bit apprehensive, but he's going. I think like Malik Scott surely have to going to give him a rocket, and I'm not talking about the fucking types of rocket he gives his wife, but he surely fucking have to give him a rocket in a corner now, time to wake up, like. Mass on the pole, like a. Uh, there's a, there's a rumor of Malik oh. Scott uh, giving the rocket to Kate Abdo. Fair play to him. She's a terrible what taste in men, by the way. Matthew Macklin and fucking Malik Scott. What is wrong with this one? She ever fucking get into a top boxer? Oh, fuck. Cop fire. Cop fire. So Parker initiated that action. Big right hand over the top. Wilder answered close on the inside, but still hasn't put a dent in Parker. And Wilder looking uncomfortable. Not hurt, but uncomfortable. Big left hook from Parker. The only shots Wilder are getting off are short shots on the inside and already having an effect on Parker. Rob's ruining it for everyone. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Enjoy my commentary, though. You're dreaming nights like these. They're very ready to live up to expectations. <laughs> You're all right, Rob. You're going to play the role of Andy tonight. Lucky guy. Yeah, Wilder it's... just uh, can't seem to find the shots. Uh, ooh, that was good. a nice little short right hand, though, at about two minutes. This is why I watch fights alone most of the time, by the way. I can't <laughs> shut the fuck up when I'm watching them. <laughs> well, we are giving commentary. Uh, still just moving back. While they're trying to find the range, it's he's definitely uncomfortable, but it's not like uh, an incredible discomfort. Where this is going, this is going to be four zip. Yeah. 
Yeah, whatever way it goes for Parker now, he's definitely performed fucking better than I think most people would have given him credit. A lot of people would have thought he'd be starched by now, but... Oh, he's three more rounds and he's won the fight. Yeah. A lot of people said that he'd be done before five and fair yeah. play to him. Yeah, he's doing I, well. Well, there was four of Steve putting him, saying that, who's it, 50 quid on three rounds? Tommy Mack, yeah. Yeah. He said he'd give us a super chat if it come true. Damn it. It's, it's, he said yeah. he sold you as a fiver, though, didn't he? He oh, didn't, but oh. I said that. All oh, right. <laughs> Love that. Wilder's starting to push push the jab a little bit more. Ooh, Parker really caught him with the head coming. What's oh, a there. head there, actually? Really yeah. good catch of the head. Yeah, that was not pretty. Parker going for it. Oh, Wilder looks so uncomfortable. So it does. uncomfortable. It's wobbly, I think. Yeah, it looks like the. It's almost like a repeated a Fury fight. It's like it's a, it's a a, conti- a, a a continuation of his. Third Fury fight. He looks so uncomfortable in there at the moment. Do we know if Parker's no, been sparring what? Uh, spa- sparring Fury for this fight at all? Or? I don't know. I, I was listening to Andy talk about him wanting him to get him out of Markham, um, and get into his own environment. But he's very comfortable in Markham. But he doesn't want him sparring with Fury all the time, where he's the number two guy in the gym, where he gets into that mentality of being number two. So I don't know if they spar with Fury in in the run up to this one, but I do remember him. Saying that they want to take him away from Fury a little bit, it was good to get all the experience, but wants well, him to be his own man. And it's like you have to be sparring for the opponent that you're going to face. You know, it, it all has to make sense as far as the dimension, southpaw, orthodox, etc. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's you just can't spar. You know, I mean, that's what you do with younger fighters: just spar for the sake of sparring. But I mean, once you get up there, you're looking for angles, looking for looks, you're looking for dimensions. Four, that's, four, that's zip four, up here, like. that's four yeah. for, uh, four It's wild as timing, I think, is the problem. He can't, he can't get the jab landed. His punches are going around the back of Parker, missing him. His timing seems off. All right, I'm just starting around five now. That'll happen though when you've only had three minutes in two years. Wild has just got no spring in his step at all. There's mm-hmm. no. He looks very flat footed. There's no spring in his step. It just looks awkward. He just. It's a hard watch right now because. Parker's the only person that's actually trying to make a fight of this. What you wonder, you're wondering what is the, like? It's fairly obvious that Wilder's waiting on one shot, but he's letting four, five, six rounds go by where he has done fuck all. Like, so unless he can find a shot, and the more tired he gets it down the stretch, you wonder is he going to be even fatigued, exactly. too too fatigued to knock fucking Parker out at all? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying he can't let it go too far, even if he has got the power. Yeah, but I mean, we've seen him barely able to stand up, and he put Fury oh, down. Like as much as I, as much as I love Andy, and I love fucking, you know, what he's doing with Joe Parker and that. Like, but if Parker was to win this and fuck up the Wilder Joshua fight, like, oh Ooh. my god! Happy Christmas! For sake, I know. And the, with the Wilder Joshua fight being right on the horizon as well, Eddie was saying this week. Well, then it must be almost nearly ha- ready to happen. Well, I'll put it to you this way, then. Let's, 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 it's a joke, though, isn't it, that they're fighting each other when he's talking Let's just keep a close see. eye on the scorecards, then. Let's just keep because, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, Jesus, they would be the worst cook. Don't fucking, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't fucking do it. Imagine it. All time. Fucking hell. That's the one of you the fucking fight. Have you noticed that Frank and Eddie are actually sat right next to each other? Yeah, I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, isn't it? Well, that is fucking hilarious. Ronaldo sitting next to Conor McGregor. Ronaldo's like, who? Oh, fuck. God. If I if I'm it. Frank, if I'm Frank and Parker wins this, I'll be turning around to him and going, "Well, that's fucked you up, son." <laughs> <laughs> Parker oh, force an action here. The night, all bricked up, eh? Give me the fucking shooter. About a minute left in the fifth, and Parker's again back and Wilder up to the ropes, digging the body, shooting for the right hand over the top now as well. Didn't Parker sign with? Shalom at one point and then never fought on but on Sky. He did, he did, didn't he? And then he gave him over to the other side of the street for the fucking um, Joyce? Joe Joyce yeah. fight. Yeah, seemed like a good move. I can work in the body there. Yeah, it's like, hey man, Wilder does look terrible. I'm telling you right now, by the way, he's biting on feints now as well. Why this go. is a bad Listen, thing. Matt the day, if Parker pulls us off, right? They fucked about. Everybody's got a, a share of the blame. A day. Wilder, Shelley Finkel, uh, Shirley, um, who else? Everybody involved in uh, that, that fight. And if it fucking falls apart right now, right in front of us, mark the date. Mark the date. I mean, Parker Joshua too. Maybe oh, Parker I don't Wallen. Know, yeah. 
Fuck Nobody wants to see that was whole face fucking no, two thousand five or whatever the fuck it was, two thousand fifteen. Steve flagging there. Flagging my Wilder's career here. I oh, know. Yeah. Oof. Oof to what? Big Joe on the bell with an overhand right. He's basically you're not missing anything. Fucking Wilder hasn't won a second of the fight. Five zip Joe Parker. Or four zip and one even. Oh I seen the right hand there. Rob should throw in a super chat for being ahead of everyone else. I think you should fucking throw me a super chat for being on time. <laughs> <laughs> <For once. laughs> Does this go the distance, says Siana Islam? So for the main event, I'll pause it so we're all on the same fucking on the same page. But Joe Parker winning every second of the of the fight so far. Deontay Wilder hasn't landed a punch of note at all. I don't Easily. think he's landed Won every round. He's winning out of canter, but seven rounds to go. Let's see where let's see what happens. I'm just gonna check Twitter then and see what Wilder's trending right now. Um latest. What we got, what we got. Wilder looks awful so far. Fury took his soul as well as his belts, it seems. Wilder can get away with this because he's he has a game changing power. Parker needs to keep fighting this fight. Bursts explosions, don't overreach, take the middle of the ring, jab your way in and bank rounds. That's what he's doing. Parker I, doing I, well. I'll add though that Parker seems to be fighting this fight at Wilder's preferred range, if that makes sense, but not. But Wilder's not actually doing anything about it. Yeah, yeah you're doing right. right. I was on the box trick form there, Andy, and someone said, Parker using a lot of energy and lunging, Wilder's hanging back, Parker winning, but his focus oh, may wane. I think I think Parker's in, he's had, he hasn't had to do much. He's boxing within yeah, himself. Yeah, in, within his pace, he, so I think. Uh, yeah. so look at his yeah, body movement. Look at this. Relaxed, he's, yeah. Yeah, he's rolling underneath too. shots and that. Mm. He's looking loose. Nice little left hook from Wilder stepping around. He's, he's not taking any heavy shots. He's not taking any punishment. Not on substantial, eh, substantial anyway. Parker crowding. Stepping Wilder up. working on the body a little bit. Little Wilder's boxing like Wilder. Malik Scott. That's who yeah. Wilder's boxing like. Think about it. Just come to me, isn't he? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's tell you, I tell you what, this is the best probably Joe pa best version of Joe Parker seen since the fucking Andy Ruiz fight. And he was a very young man then. I think he was like 20, uh, 23. Yeah, well, I haven't said that. Like Parker's I don't know if it's, I think Parker's it's a combination ahead, of keep it off center, you know, rolling the body. He's just he's no he's no staying anyway, he's, he's he's moving the hands and that as well, just putting everything off. Well does just kind of get anything going, even the jab. This round is more. Yes, is is go, this round is closer to even, though. I will say it's not as uh, not as no. wide as the last Every, one was going. Everything well, Wilder's no. trying is very arm. It's very all arms, though. It's nothing. Yeah. 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 It's, it's his time. Yeah, he's not I committing. Think. He's not yeah. committing to the shots. He, he's looking for one shot. He's leaning. That back was a better the... attempt at a right hand, even though he missed. He's leaning back towards the ropes and he's trying to catch Parker with his head on the line, but Parker's not keeping his head on his line as he moves to the ropes and then. There's not much room left for Wilder to get the the right hand off, and it's just. It a good job by Parker there. Yeah, good job there. Yeah. Oh. Okay. He's struggling oh. big time here. Big overhand right, tries to catch him on the way in. So I'd say Wilder got through with the first shot of the fight with about thirty seconds to go, round six, but then budge Parker and just tied up. I like it when Parker comes in as the aggressor because that's where Wilder don't like it. He don't like it. Yeah, that, yeah that was more uh, what we're looking for for Wilder. A little bit open-handed, I think, on that right hand, Rob, is why it did yeah, so much damage. The way he's leaning back and the, the uh, technique, on, the technique on the shots looks worse than ever, so he's not twisting his hand as he turns it over. And the way he's leaning back, it's like he's almost waiting to get knocked out. Like, you feel like a big puncher catch him on the way out. Like, it's... It's strange, a very strange performance from Wilder, but a good performance from Parker. After six, Parker winning at a canter. Parker was laughing at that corner there, actually. I don't know if it was his own corner or, or what, but... Oof! Like, good right hand there by Parker. Right on the bell. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. You see Wilder's head, like, Wilder's leaning, uh, leaning backwards and... Moving backwards at the same time, it's like he's he's hanging his chin in the air to get knocked out. Like and all yeah. these, we've looked at Wilder throughout his whole career. Like he never had. <laughs> I think if you're looking correct for... technique, never had good footwork, never had a great jab. He's always just had the equalizer, hasn't he? Like and in his early career, he was a he was a laughing stock because his technique was so bad. But 
his punch bailed him out over the years, but this looks like a sharp version of Deontay Wilder. Yeah, Not to take too much away from Joe Parker, yeah, but this I, looks I agree. Like a sharp of him. I agree. I mean, listen, obviously, the, he was technically limited, and obviously, he did, he did make adjustments, but after those three wars, 38, looks like he's washed. Well, you never know. Remember Ericsson Lubin against Ramos? Man, Wilder could be out boxing him in the eyes of... No, remember that fight? What was it, what was it again? Was it Mike? I remember the right, the right uppercut. Oh, what was the fight? Oh, come at me. Oh, uh, when he... When, when Randall Bailey. Fight. Oh, Randall, Randall Bailey. Bailey. Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Mike Jones. One of the worst fights you'll see with one of the greatest endings of all time. Randall Bailey, if he would have just let his hands go, Go man, he was one of the hardest punchers I've honestly ever seen. Beautiful right uppercut. Wilder just fencing with the jab, not doing a whole lot here, nothing landing. I cannot wait to find out who drugged Deontay Wilder this time. (laughs) (laughs) I think that crown was too heavy, to be fair. The crown Uh, could have been too heavy as the crown. Yeah, isn't that too uh, heavy? Isn't that quite quite the metaphor? Seventh round again. Parker being the aggressor again. Back and Wilder to the ropes again. Wilder looking confused and bemused. He looks more confused the more, the more the fight goes on. It's like he's not mm. really fucking. I definitely think it's the ayahuasca dude. I don't think it put him in a get him back <laughs> off that. Did he stop, man? Fuck yeah, sake. yeah in about two what? minutes, what, uh, Parker kind of landed like a little triple left hook there. That was that was a yeah. good sequence for him. I think it's Malik Scott, man. I, he just looks like he's boxing like Scott used to. Very negative. He's too, not he's too content, isn't he? He's too yeah. content to be letting this happen. Like, it's fucking seven rounds. He hasn't let his hands go at all. Like, I'll give believe. Fandora a chance against Wilder right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ricardo <laughs> Espinosa. <laughs> Yeah, he had a chance to fucking beat Wilder just now. <laughs> this is awful, man. Hey, he has to know he's behind. Oh, Ronaldo, he's gonna, he's, Ronaldo sitting beside McGregor right? looks like when fucking you have the last scene on the bus, don't you? And the fucking uh, maniac gets on at your last stop. <laughs> you're like, oh, bastard, here we go. Like. Ronaldo's looking up to ask him for some of that, that good stuff. This is a game of <laughs> don't wake up. <laughs> I think it's you just so know the main from Wilder. It's astonishing. This is this is just you just know for the with the, with the main event with Wallen being a counter puncher. It's it's going to be something similar. It's going to be Josh mm. have to try and hunt him down as well. You know. Ooh. Again, the right hand from Wilder. Timing is all over the place. Ah, man. It's missing it. Big He's right hand from Joe thing. Parker, forcing Wilder to engage in it a bit more, but missing everything and looked looked slightly hard from that. Yeah, this is yeah, this is not the typical Deontay Wilder fight by Ooh, any stretch. Right hand there by Parker. Caught Wilder just be chilling in the air. Yeah, bit. yeah. Wilder snuck a little uppercut in there. Yeah, he did. He did. Another one in the bag for Joe Parker. Are you guys catching that swelling on Parker's left eye? Yeah, all well, that too. They're going to pull him out for his own safety. Can I get him out of there? <laughs> oh, no. Praise me. Thank you, Sheik. <laughs> Burn envelope coming in. Parlay be praised. <laughs> <laughs> there's me old mate, Joey. Oh, there's the man. There he is. But honestly, Rob, when people you're talking Rob about the Davis. things that might separate the fighters in this one, I, I'll, I'll tell you what. The fact that AJ keeps jumping corners and you've got Joey Gamash in that corner, man. I mean, he's uh, it, it's a different thing. I mean, they've been working together a while, and I, I think that if that's one of those things that takes this from yeah. what might be leaning in Joshua's favor to at least. Oh an my even god, it'd be the worst thing that ever happens. I love Joey Gamash, fucking top man. I love, him. I love, I'm happy for his success. Same with Andy. But if these two fuckers, if the Saudis are after putting all this money up to have these great cards where all these big fights happen on the same night and we're left with fucking Otto Wally versus Joe Parker, fuck me. No, 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 we need AJ to fucking fucking knock, it, knock Wally now. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, though. Did you notice face off at the way in yesterday, actually? Oh, wally has been there a wee bit of fucking verbals with Joshua and Joshua ain't playing with him. He's no talking back. So it's uh, been wally and it's been in his face and he says, you got it coming. So I wonder if he does fancy it. It's interesting. I don't know. I don't Round think eight, kicking off here. This fight is just fuck me. Like it, yeah. Basically, fucking Wilder. Wilder has to pull it out of the fire now. He's lost every round. 
Yeah, that's what they're just saying there, actually. Parker could lose every single round now, this, you know, going forward and still win the fight. Yeah. And the thing is, if he gets dropped, he's even more behind. He's got, he's then got to come out and go for it, but he's got to go for it now anyway. He's got to know he's behind. I think he's not bothered. Well, all fucking... the footwork is like my old man after 10 pints on a dance floor. <laughs> 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 look at him. <laughs> so again, yeah, yeah, making sales from both. This is not going well Stay. for him right okay. now at all. Step okay, so fight takes it takes takes fire a little bit now in the about a minute thirty. Tempered the ring, they're exchanging a little bit. Wilder got through with a couple of shots there, but Parker on face still holding his ground. Wilder <laughs> looking more nervous now, or more apprehensive or something as the round's going. The thing is, oh. is, is he, despite Wilder being a world class, you know, potentially you know uh, greatest Cuck. greatest puncher speech, you know, of all time. It took a whole lot of Joe Joyce's punches to take Parker out. He he's not going down easily. He's and he's forcing the fight. He's like yeah, he's absolutely I think in control. I think his left eye is swelling up pretty bad actually. And he yeah, yeah. Look at him. They're coming yeah. together in the heads there as well in in the middle of this round. His Excellency is not enjoying this, Oof. is he? He's thinking, what have I paid for here? Yeah, fuck's sake, he'd be looking for the money back. Oh, Joe Parker going for it. Has Wilder in trouble. 30 seconds to go on the round. He's let loose on punches. He's letting his hands go. Ref is having a look. Parker Alondra. again with a left hook. Big right hook. Ref's got to jump in. He's giving him every chance. He's riding it in the corner a little bit. He's pulling his head out of it. He's still in the fight. He's throwing back. Big moment for Joe Parker. 10 seconds to go on the round. Gonna... Wilder's going to get out of here. What a shot that was. Ooh. Holy right shit. Shot. Oh, he's unloading him. This is, not, this is brilliant from Parker. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, he's coming. that's one of the best moments of Joe. Oh, go on. Go on. go on. Take your money, mate. Go on. Everybody who had ever thought that Joseph Parker had something and wondered what the fuck he was doing, that's what they were waiting for. Well, just oh. clueless, isn't he, man? He's really holding on. Oh, that was a tremendous right hand in the... Oh, what's Uncle Frank saying to Eddie right now, by the way? Pull it. <laughs> and let his hand, and when he had his moment, he, he tried to finish the Parker. You got to give him credit. Fucking Quite went straight for it. Brilliant from Parker. Funny right you listen to Danny before the fight. They were saying, What's your advice? And he was like, Let your fucking hands go. Fight fire by fire. Let your hands go. While looks finished. That was, that was a great right hand. It, it froze him, too, by the way. It froze him for a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, he had some shots there. Really, Wilder okay. took some shots there. Yeah, I'm seeing... All right hands, isn't they? Every right hand, almost. Keep it, that's what I was saying to you earlier. Like, his jaw's up. He's, he's, he's pulling his head out, and he's... he's staying oh! on the, on the... <laughs> That punch in slow mo, unreal. Oh, I it's, it's frozen like he felt that right then. He's literally lying back in that turnbuckle there trying to get his head off the line. Jesus Christ. I fast forwarded a bit to get more caught up with Rob. This was killing me. You're you prick. <laughs> Fuck you. We're all dealing with the same problem here. Aye. <laughs> fucking sell out. You're a fucking sell out, you are. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, Walder stopped for a second. James Windsor saying that was weird. I suppose he was stopped by the right hand, but he did seem to look at the ref. Parker just fucking, he could just go and lie in the corner and have a cigar than who actually. Mm. It wouldn't matter. Oh, over the top with the left right by Parker. Yeah, Parker with the left hook in his turn. It looked like it looked like Wilder was after hearing his alarm and fucking like two in the morning, didn't it? He was like, oh. I almost clipped him by the elbow. I mean, they missed that right hand. Parker in total control. Wilder looking, looking like he wants to engage, but just not doing it. And Parker stalking him. Still go, still go. What? Three and a, but three and a half rounds of that still to go. And Parker, all Joe Parker at the moment. Still, has he got that one shot? Can they find that one shot? It looks like Parker might find it before him. He's fucking going for it again there. Right hand over the top again. Oh, but he, 
Can you imagine both land at the same time and both get knocked out? That'd be hilarious. Oh, we're here for. Please be to our love. Hit the referee and everything. We all fucking get knocked out. Come on, Parker. Yeah. Wait, what's he waiting for? This is what I can't understand. Why is he boxing so tentatively? Why is he not walking to Joe Parker? I mean, what the, I mean, honestly, Parker's just came just about close lining him over that top rope, actually, the way, the way he's lying back on that. It's, it's, it's nuts. Credit to, to Liam Parker, though, for this performance. I don't think anyone's seen oh, this. Oh, I, I mean, he, listen, he's kept, he's kept the welder on the back foot for pretty much the entire fight. Pretty much. Kept him on the outside. Yeah, so str- such a, a strange performance right. from Wilder. Like you, don't yeah. want to take your, you don't want to take too much away from the guy that's winning the fight and won it, winning every round. You have to give him credit, but it's very strange that he, like that Wilder won't try and walk to him. Now he's trying to walk to him. It's, it's just flat, Rob. It's a very mm-hmm. flat performance. No snapping the shots or anything. Or no. He, it's like he's weight drained. It's weird. It's, yeah. Yeah, weight should never be weight drained. Maybe he should have came oh. in at 20. Just on the bell, Wilder got through with something. Just on the bell. It was just around the back of the air. It didn't trouble Parker that much, but it was his first sign of aggression from Wilder in the whole fight. Well, that might have been enough to pick off the round then. That was a rather slow one. Yeah, but Parker caught him with something before. Parker though. caught him with bigger stuff, yeah. Sell that right hand behind the ear, sell it just it stuck it stuck him up a wee bit. First sign of aggression really from Wilder in the fight. Like he even hasn't he hasn't nope. fought back like with, with much firepower of his own with the for the shots that he's been caught with. He's gonna have to find something in these next three rounds. Well, he's, he's gonna have to come out and start, start starting right now. Reminds you of fucking Angelo that you're blowing a kid. Fuck yeah. me. You gotta do something to go out like you want you're blowing the bag. Folks He's not going to get a rock up. up his arse, though, is he, man? Scott's more stone than he is in the corner. Eddie needs to get into that corner right now. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> Frank Smith. <laughs> T-boy. Imagine Eddie and Frank, the two fucking <laughs> ages, oh, making friends with each other for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> not a whole lot happening to start the 10th. Favourite Parker's not look fresh. Parker kind of knocked him off bounce with a jab there. But we've not started the round yet. So Bell just started oh. for us for round 10. So where are you at? Up ahead of that. I'm doing my best not to do too Where much. are you at? Oh, mine's all over the place. I'm still in Bivol fight. <laughs> 250. You're at 215? Yep. Where are you at, Steve? 250. No, 249. No, no, 247. 240. <laughs> 211 here. <laughs> I'm going to get you some fire stick lads for Christmas. <laughs> you can't go on like this. What, what, what Rob, I had, no, Rob, <laughs> Rob, I was the same as you before I came on and then like, I went back to, to sync up with the rest of them and now I'm fucking behind everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <you're just laughs> because Rob was spoiling it for everything, for everything. That was your mistake. If you're a long time listener of the pod, you will remember that I used to get my fucking result about 30 seconds after the boys did the rooms and ass <laughs> and now this is fucking payback. Danny felt sorry for us now he's paying the price. <laughs> no, that's it, yeah. Well, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my 600 megabyte of downloads in a minute or gigabyte of downloads and go about four minutes in head of, ahead of you lot, all right? So, <laughs> this is big. big left hook again from Joe Parker. Again, forcing the action, forcing Wilder back to the ropes. The reset, Wilder seems content just to fucking walk about the place like Uncle Albert, man. He's not like, he's not throwing the jab. He's not throwing any punches whatsoever. Parker comfortable to keep him at mid-range when he's not throwing... It seems like you can see the shots coming, and this is just the, the punch stats are up there now. So, power punch is thrown in round nine. Wilder is only landing like 17 shots in the fucking I don't know what the fuck is going on, man. This is <laughs> I don't know either. This is not good. It's it's like in a way, like in a cruel way, you like kind of want to see Joe Parker flatline in the 12th round just so we keep Wilder versus Joshua. But if Wilder was to turn up like this and fight Joshua, who'd want to fucking yeah, see it care. anyway? Who cares? Yeah, at that point in time. It's, and sometimes the fighter's just done. Wilder had a hell of a long career. He might just be done. And it happens. Trading a couple of jabs. I can't, like Parker, understand. Parker. I can't understand what he's doing. I can't understand what the game plan is here. Like, What was Parker, the game plan? Parker getting a little bit cocky with that left hand low, though, Rob. Yeah, I was thinking that, too. Oh, Wilder just landed a decent uppercut. 
Parker took it well. Yeah, it's close on it. It's close if it wasn't much on it, really. I don't know. Do you give Deontay that right? Not much happened in that round. Like, maybe you gave Wilder that round, but it's not going to matter a fuck unless you can fucking flatten him in the next two. Right. Right hand by uh, Parker just at the end of that round yeah. there. Just catch. Yeah. Over and right, it looked good, but yeah. Uh, if that's the, if that's the one, that's got to be the one round that uh, Wilder's won so far. I think the rest of it has all been Parker for me. I bet they rob him. You give him, a, you give him a, maybe a share of the first round because none of the two of them did anything. But fucking, he's done nothing, has he? Like he's looked very, very poor, and he's lost almost every round. It's uh, he needs that fucking equalizer now. Edward Woodward, baby. The equalizer. While there was six minutes left to go to preserve potentially one of the biggest paydays of his career. Tell you, man, that ayahuasca, once he got that into it, he stopped caring about money and all. He's on that fucking, he's in the spirit realm. He don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Started off the 11th round. You think like there'd be some impetus or some kind of aggressive staff from Wilder, but he's just doing, he's returning to form, trying to get on the jab a little bit more now. Yeah, just trading jabs here and there. Yeah, good bit at least 9-1 Parker, eh? Absolutely. You would think. I think you could, I, I think at a pinch you could see it 7-2-1, but I think Parker's clear on rounds. I, still, the scores, man, I'm telling you, would not surprise me. Just wait. Ah, they Ooh, Parker they just missed with the right before. hand. I've seen it before. I would not. I would, if they did, that'd be. The, oh, There's Joe Parker again forcing him. Let, try, try. He's looking for that same shot again. The right hand over the top. He's kind of moving his head off the line and then throwing it over at an unorthodox angle. And Wilder just doesn't see it coming. Like it's Wilder a little bit more aggressive now. I think he fucking. Well, with it one minute to go in the eleventh round, I think he feels like he needs to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Parker tried to throw a right hand, game off the shoulder. Joseph Parker by decision. Holy shit. What a I tell you what, they, 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 they can't rob him, eh? They clearly cannot rob him. But we'll try and make it close in the card somehow. Oh, I think it'd be close. It'd be like 115, hey. 130, and shit like that, man. You know what boxing's like, yeah. Andy. So it's like, for example, that first round, you had Rob and uh, Matty kind of talking about how you're going to score that. But like, right, if, if, you're, if you're Andy, there's 30 seconds left in the in the 11th now, right? If you're Andy Lee, what do you say, Joe Parker, go out and run? <laughs> you fucking don't need it. You don't need to knock him out. Just Absolutely. Out. 100%. While they're finally like seeming to fit with, fight with a little purpose here inside the last minute. That was short-lived. It's just, uh, yeah. He can't oh. get off while, unless he it's... finds the fucking punch from the gods in the next round. He's going to lose this fight. He, and he, need, he needs the underneath game, not the over-the-top game, and he can't seem to find it. Every over-the-top shot Matty has missed. Now, part, it might be Parker's subtle head movement, but I just think Wilder just looks completely shot, man. His timing's not there at all. The technique I, I on, the shots, on the short shots as well. It's look, He looks like a novice fighter. Like... Yeah. He's just well, I'm just going to try and hear what Malik Scott's get, saying to him in the last round here. Mute yourself, Rob. Mute yourself, Rob. Hmm. I don't know, man. You can't have the bleed through. Three hours forty one we've done. Okay, so Buncey and Richie Woodhall are Kane and Malik Scott saying there's been no urgency. As far as I can see, it's that guy Jay Diaz or whatever that's doing all the talking in oh, the corner. Jay Diaz, Malik yeah. Scott's just having a look at him. It's not seems to. I don't know if they fall out or did some Malik Scott fucking do something with his wife on OnlyFans. I don't know what the fuck's ever going on, but it doesn't seem like. <laughs> seems like there's a disconnect between the two of them, and Diaz is giving the instructions, and they seem like bad ones again because, like we talked about, 
in the last round we said that he needs to stop looking for the over over the right hand over the top and they're telling him to do it and now they have an exchange and Wilder is throwing hammer fist UFC style in the clinch so he's desperate um, but again he's looking for the right over the top and Wilder and Parker slipping it under yeah I just can't seem to get it Wilder going for it now in the 12th round he's forcing the action but Parker yeah, not your man D's is giving like tactical information, like you need to move off to your right a little bit. And I'm thinking like, you kind of pass that stage. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said to him. It's a little desperate. Yeah. The excuses we weren't going to get for this performance right now. Joseph Parker doing a bit, a fair bit of holding here, definitely knowing he, in, yeah. if anything's decent, he just has to see it to the end. Fighters. Don't go to Costa Rica and take ayahuasca. No, do not take ayahuasca. It's not working. If you if you want a killer instinct, you don't want to fucking soften your opinion yeah. on your man. You don't want to be on fucking at peace with the world. Fuck me. We need violent while the while they're oh, swinging Christ, for the now. That right hand by Caught Parker. Mile. Caught him momentarily with left hook. Parker standing up to a grand, holding himself in the clinch. Minute and a half to go. Wilder looks tired, though, man. If Parker gets, uh, sorry, if Wilder gets it on the cards, it's going to be a, a, a joke. If he gets it on the cards, it's but you forget boxing from now on because this is the most one-sided fucking fight I've seen in a long, long time. Good job from Parker. Parker not having it, mixing it with him. Oh, Wilder a fraction away with a big right hand. My God, that right hand by Wilder threw there was like a sent by pitching carrier that came in that late. Yeah. He's off. His timing is completely off. it by miles. Just me fucking beers. Yeah, he just cannot seem to find it. This is uh, definitely one of the more shocking moments in boxing this year. I... No matter what the odds say, I think this has to be upset of the year at this point in time. It's well, just, this has all come out fair and decent, guys. The spoiler for you, there's 15 seconds left, and it looks like it's only going one way. Wilder can't get off. He's finished, didn't he? He left yeah. it all in the Fury fight, man. His career yeah. ended yeah. in that in the ring. Should have never looked for that third fucking Fury fight. Oh, Should have sure. got out where the going was good, taking him to court and all the rematches. Fuck that shit. Talking about egg weights. Fight's over, guys. Deontay Wilder ironically puts his fucking hand in the air for some reason. <laughs> Andy and Joe know they got the fight done. Maximum credit to Parker. He's, he's, he, he, the game plan was very good. And um, and he made... Well, Wilder just didn't, just didn't look box at all, did he? He just looked horrible tonight. It looks um, like he went to Saudi Arabia on holidays or something, doesn't it? It's like, it's like he probably didn't know he's had a fight on. <laughs> he was never going to beat Deontay Wilder in an exciting fight. This fight was exactly what it was. But to be honest, Wilder didn't do anything to make it exciting himself. He was entirely hesitant to throw anything. Uh, he couldn't commit to any of his shots whatsoever. It was not the same Deontay Wilder in there. Um, I I think that uh, he is shot. And I think I the sad thing about Deontay Wilder is I think that he his confidence, his belief in himself is too much yes. for him to say that he's That's shot. That's what so Fury took from him. That was that was what Fury took from him was his belief that he could knock anybody out. And he without that he's shot mentally now as well as physically. I can't believe he's parading around the ring like he thinks he's won this. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Ed, Eddie's Eddie's arse is making buttons on the seat right now. All right. This bird is a draw, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Gentlemen, I, when I Adelaide say, Bird, 118, 110. And, Whoa. And Rob, Rob, I, Rob I, want, I, I just want to remind you, we can't have bleed through from their telecast for copyright stuff. So if you Yeah, I read it in the on, fucking chat, okay. asshole. I read it in the chat. Okay. Well, you can respond it. and say it as much so that I know, <laughs> sir. No, listen, um, Richie Woodhull, has the, his card is the exact same as mine. I think he gave a draw for the first round. He gave Wilder maybe the 10th or the 11th round, and he has it 117, 112 to Parker. I think we're going to see that similar card across the three judges. I can't look at, fucking, look at Wilder, what he's tried to do in the clinch. Back, he looked worse than he's ever looked before. But that's down to Parker making him look bad too.
nothing. Absolutely nothing performance from Wilder and everything from, from Joe Packer. Let's see what the cars say, though. Uh, yeah, Steve is making me fucking a bit apprehensive here. Like, I don't know. Uh, you'd want to be the most corrupt. Take um, a for the results to come in. Waiting for his excellency to get the nod, I think. Out of is this right? We're we giving this guy the... the thumb up or the thumbs down, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you you want to see real power, uh, Mauricio Suleiman? Uh, right here, motherfucker. <laughs> we, we don't have to, we, we're not, we're not gonna point judges locally the same night. I'm gonna walk right the time to see get this result in. Yeah, the beat bot boops mentioning Dave Higgins. Sure, he was just hugging Parker about ten seconds ago. Yeah, it's funny, Bar- uh, Steve. Is it uh, the Parker's ex trainer Barry? God, I can't. Kevin Barry. His name now. Kevin. Uh, Kevin yeah, Barry. Kevin Barry. He- Kevin Barry, sorry, yeah, he really yeah. fancied Parker for this actually when it, when he was talking. Oh, he was right. saying, you know, yeah. So uh, fair play yeah, to good him. Good lad, him, by the way. Yeah, yeah he's, I, 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 he's, he's a good fighter, good isn't he? Yeah. Holy yeah. yeah, good fight, good trainer. Yeah. All right, and uh, when they get him together for the announcement here, I'm going to go on uh, go on mute to check it out. Um, okay. And we'll be yeah, I'll be back when I think you guys have gotten all the info too. I'll be back. Exciting, or, or I'll smoke crap. Take Never your time, though. I don't like this. Oh, I'm telling you, man. This is the Chavez. This is the guy. Give me the drop. Give me the drop. Scores being announced. James Windsor's not going to say anything, though, he says. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's been announced, yeah. Get in there! Cheers. The right guy won. And he's getting a little belt for it as well off the WPC. There's a shocker. <laughs> it's a shocker. <laughs> a belt for nothing. He's going to be fucking blaming Mally Scott now for drugging his Viagra. Wait, you see, this is fucking, yeah. this is where this is going. How is Wilder still. What is he doing? He's like shaking his head like he's been done over the cards or something, man. Like he's he got beaten up. He's gonna to wait to sack the whole team now. It's gonna be Malik Scott's fault. It's fucking the tar- the excellency fault. Well, I thought I actually don't think he's gonna say anything about the excellency. Fair play, Danny and way, Joe what's, Parker. What's the group behind the uh, Wilder defeats the Fury that whole time? They're they're gonna be active this coming uh, next forty eight hours, aren't they? Oh, the LDBC. Oh, the LDBC. Jesus well, Christ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck oh. me. Oh, God. It's fucking... There's I mean, the, 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 insurrection. I haven't seen him come out and defend Charlo for his misdemeanors recently, so... Oof. Did you, did you hear the, the videotape of that? I did, yeah. It's very damning, all right. But to be expected mm-hmm. from that fucking agent, to be honest with you. Yeah, that will be Joseph Parker, who possibly mandatory WBO contender. Maybe because if Joshua gets beat tonight, is he not dub- mandatory WBC? That was that's something else. That's something else. That was unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. My that's God, your, that's your upset. That is your upset. It's we had you know uh, the wider on the with the odds makers was Caballel winning, but in the implications, I just got to say that th- that this is the upset of the year. Hmm. Can you think of another fight that upset the apple cart as much I as? I should have been here somewhere. There was there was one I can remember. You must think. Oh, 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 uh, Topolis. Topolis over Akhmedalia, maybe. I know, but on a scale, it's this is this is the one, isn't it? The oddest, like... W- Zhang the- against uh, Joyce, possibly. Well, he'd already beaten in the first Carlos time. Carlos Takam yeah. against Tony Yoka. The widest with the with the books was when I think that Itoma lost um, earlier. Lopez in the- against Joshua. Uh, sorry, Lopez against Taylor, sorry. Yeah. 
That was yeah. almost 50 50 with the books. You guys on scale, tired. it's got to be this one, hasn't it? Compared yeah. to you know the scale of it, I mean, this bus open, this bus open the, the division a wee bit actually. What's Wilder going to say? I think he'll go the whole, you know, we've been on a ah, journey, he's... love, you know, and all this type of shit, isn't he? It's, it's one of those things where I'm glad that I have the telecast on mute, I think. He used to go back to the love wagon, I think, and just retire and enjoy his people, money. Time's people up. People of the world, joy in hands, get on the love train, love train. What were the scorecards? Sorry, I missed the scorecards. What? 118, 110, 118, 111, 120, 108. Just need big Voto to do the business. That, I imagine it. Oh, oh, oh. I had, I, I had, a, oh, oh, oh. I, I had it one round closer. I can't remember. It was, I had it 117, 112. I had that even couple of rounds to Wilder. Not, nothing that interesting. I think that was being very favorable, though. Man, here's here's a question for you. Danny, let me throw this at you. So you're Anthony Joshua. You're sitting backstage. That gigantic payday just got washed away to no fault of your own. How hard is it to get in the ring and want it right now? How hard is it to mentally prepare after knowing that just happened? Ooh. Oh, Danny boy. The Danny pipes, might not even be here pipes, to the panel. Calling. He might be urinating. You know what is the message? Um... Oh, is that him there? I think you're breaking up a little bit there, Danny. While you're giving credit to Packer in the post fight and not making any excuses, so it's definitely the ayahuasca. He's fucking two at peace here. You know, Rob, I had oftentimes thought about ayahuasca or, or ketamine just, you know, for anxiety and depression kind of shit. Maybe I don't want to. I like, if I'm not a bastard, like, I'd be totally ineffective in politics. I, I, I can't do it to myself. Well, you are a bastard. Exactly. I, I want to continue. <laughs> I, I want to continue. Like at this point in my life, like the people are assholes to me. I have to prove to I'm a better at being an asshole than they are, and it's a hard lesson. And I, uh, ayahuasca could cost me that. I don't know if I need to do that. Yeah, humble in defeat there from Wilder. Surprising, surprising. I thought he'd throw the, the toys out of the pram. I seems content with a performance like that, which I can't understand. But, um, yeah. Credit Joe Packer. Not the, I th- it's not the result. Like, as a guy, great for Joe Packer. Great guy. Seems like a good guy. Very willing to fight. I guess his fourth fight, fourth or fifth fight this year. Third or fourth fight, something like that. Um, But we wanted Wilder versus Joshua, didn't we? In rehab, this is what we wanted. We're not going to get it now. Like, oh, well, maybe we'll still get it. Eddie's going to have to sell that shit fucking hard. But on that, you fancy it. Well, we have to yet to see AJ, of course. Look at me. We can see what these two stooges are like. Time room is off a little bit, he says. Fuck me, he's going to ayahuasca in the post fight. Ah, he's a. Uh... He said that he he's on the ayahuasca and that's why he's so happy. He's going to keep wearing a smile all week. The ayahuasca's washed up the hot day while they're focusing. Man, I, I was listening to a little bit of the wilder post fight there. Uh, Rama, mm-hmm. he, he is all about the peace and love there. Uh, I, I think you're right. I 
I, I think uh, he uh, needs something to piss him off in the next few months to get it back. Like, I, I hope, like, he doesn't get what he wants for Christmas and he's just like, fuck, I got to get back and bust some faces. I really want nah, to. Just, it's, it's gone. He's I done. Think it's gone. He's done. Yeah. Retirement, oh. smart investments, all this shit he's done. I just noticed in the chat there, Des is saying that Wilder was talking like he's got one foot in retirement, and I think he's pretty much bang on there. Like, yeah, he, uh, he, that, he's that got both like feet in retirement. You sound like he accepted. He said it if it, and if it's over, man, it, I appreciate everything. It's it's been great, basically, is what he said, and and it has. I mean, the guy is a is an absolute legend. When when you know, in fifty years. People, when they're talking about who are the hardest punchers in the history of boxing, Deontay Wilder's name is still going to be among those that are in, in that debate. Um, so it's what are you going to say? It's amazing to leave such a mark on the sport, especially for a you know kid growing up in Alabama, preacher son, um, you know, coming out of nowhere, got an Olympic bronze medal and became an Olympic box, uh, Olympic bo- or ex- excuse me, got an Olympic bronze medal and then he became a uh, world champion uh, professional fighter, all because he knew he had to make money to support his uh, daughter uh, in and her uh, fight with uh, her uh, medical issues. Pretty freaking amazing story, all in all, you know. Like You're I letting I, him off too but, easy, Matty. Based off the last day uh, Fury and Ngannou performance, do you think the two of them? Took the best out of each other in those three fights. One hundred percent. Point. One hundred. Huey and Gar- Wilder and Garnu next. There you go. There's a fight for him. Bet you that's what they'll do. Something like that. Yeah, it can happen. Kind of like fellas can have a trilogy and then never be the same again for anybody mm-hmm. else. And like Fury looks sad and asks for it. Chat, yeah. What's that? I'm seeing that Abdul chat. You see it. Yeah, but uh, Jesus Christ, World of Fury 4, Ryan Deals. Oh, yeah, we, we've seen oh. that. Like, see, can, does she know there's other boxes? Like, she's gone from Macklin and Malik Scott. Like, go oh, shoot for the stars, baby. You're Kate Abdo. What the fuck is what are you doing? Like, <laughs> yeah, but you, you, you can tell that Malik Scott knows what he's doing, man. That, that, that is a confident dude. Uh, he's yeah, he's giving her a good time, Rob. You know it. But she's Kate Abdo. Is she fucking she going off with a guy who's fucking his wife on OnlyFans? What's wrong with her? Like, fuck's sake, Kate Abdo. Well, he, well, you know, yeah, he was fucking his wife on, on OnlyFans. Well, the question is, why aren't you? You know, uh, where, where's your entrepreneurial spirit there, Mr. <laughs> Kelly? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I see what she goes with. What's up there now? I see what she goes first. And, and Rob, by that, I mean, why aren't you fucking Malik Scott's wife on OnlyFans? <laughs> I, I don't know. I wanted to clear that up. I um, like uh, I like uh, Ryan Deal's comment about uh, Don King in the chat. It's funny because this is the day of reckoning. Don King and Bob Arum could have uh, well been added to this as just uh, zombie looking creatures sat in the background really good. I'm gonna say do we know Buffer read out the right scores for a start <laughs> <laughs> oh dear man. hold on Kate Abdo's engaged to Malik Scott fuck sake should I wonder he's fucking uh, Wilder wasn't doing any fucking he must have got divorced no then what? he stopped giving him instructions he was like ah fuck it just go out there throw the right hand man hold on I'm talking to Kate Abdo <laughs> what <laughs> Can you imagine what happened? What would happen if David Hay and Malik Scott combined their powers? <sighs> Try to think. That they would basically take. I was going to say it, but I'm Europe. not going to say it. It's on air for another way. <laughs> there you are. So where are we at now? Then when's Joshua coming on? Hopefully soon. What's Hopefully the sooner the six hours are going to fucking run out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. Four exactly. Four hours exactly. I feel like it's mm-hmm. like I'm part of one of those zombie apocalypse movies, and I'm sitting like in my bunker, sitting there. Well, day seven hundred and eighty-three here, <laughs> still the sign of the outside world, eating d- tins of dried food. <laughs> oh dear, and Milad Khalidi, there, good point from him. Um, what else have we got? F two. He's the gossip column in the F two. He's lo- he's reading Hello magazine and all that with Bell you now included in it. Let's see, we yeah, might as well run back through our uh, super chats as well. Carl, Fr- Carl Frampton looks like a Victorian chimney sweep. Don't he on that fucking? <laughs> <laughs> That's an age today, little fucker. 
Well, you know, I mean, the cool thing as a featherweight, he'd probably get up and down a chimney pretty well. I mean, maybe that's a true calling. <laughs> Carl is taking the pace as well. He's at it with me. Like, is he what's he's doing this on purpose now? Like, fuck's sake. <laughs> but anyways, I'd like to thank Kaiser Kobe, Dr. FMG, Ryan Deal, uh, John O'Donovan, uh, S. Anthony, uh, Mick. Uh, how do you say that one, Steve? Which one? Uh, Mick starts with a D. I don't even want to try. Am I, am I going to fuck it up? In the Here comes Chukwu. Chukwu's just trying to come on, Chukwu. And, and James Winder. I'll just say thanks, Mick. Oh, Mick, yeah. Delafrey, yeah. Delarey, something like that. What, I'm, glad, I'm glad that you're not positive no, either. I've never seen that one either, to be honest Thank with you. you. Say you're Thank not you. on your own there. Mick, if, you, if you're still in the chat and you might be willing to type that out phonetically for us, <laughs> I, I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> Usually Andy can help us on that. Like, I'm never going to understand how the word Calhoun can have <laughs> a Q in it that goes against everything that I have ever learned in a classroom no. in my entire life. That's beyond me, Matty. I'm all right with James Winesor there, but I'm not sure about this other fella. <laughs> What's the name about? Deloc Delochry Delary. What is that about? There, Mick on the th- Merry Christmas, lads. He says thanks for an awesome year. He's going to withdraw that now. Go we'll stick it up on the chat. So it's Delary, I think. Delary, Delary. See, I got there in the end. Got there in the end. I was, thanks, just, I was just overthinking it. At this point, I am stuck with overthinking it because when I think I'm right, I'm nowhere in the fucking ballpark. I Shut up, it. asshole. We have to try and pronounce DJ and an Fuck off with you. <laughs> yeah, I try yeah, but you point. know it on a weekly basis. You know, that's, that's <laughs> just pop out of me from the middle of nowhere. Stuff like <laughs> Echo Essiman is. I look at it, I'm like, Ecal? Who names her fucking kid Ecal? Um, oh, Lennox. Lennox, I. Chukwu, fake Chukwu's in the house. But Show again, for, for, Jim, uh, for James, Mick, uh, Anthony, Ryan, uh, John, uh, Dr. FMG, and Kaiser Koba, thank you very much for the super chats. Y'all have a very fantastic holiday season. We appreciate you so much. We're getting there, boys. 10 past 11. Matty Degenerato. I should write a call. That would be fun. <laughs> oh, Just comment on Malik Scott's fucking love life. That's the column. <laughs> We're gonna use this money to subscribe to Malik and Kate Abdo's uh, OnlyFans page. Tyrion, he must be pissed, man. I always got the feeling he was giving her one on the side. I shouldn't say that about him. Very <laughs> There's no uh, way. There's no way that's happening. I, I kind of, I don't, I don't believe it. I thought that Michael. She just went Macklin. She wasn't at the fucking. She wasn't at the fucking. Yeah, Vegas I remember Matt. Matt was teeth. <laughs> Me with that one. I have taken That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You don't think that he's no fucking shame either because he's still on Sky. <laughs> Jesus. Gonna be stuck going to Adult Friend Finder and giving gummies in the alley if he doesn't stop. Frampton looks like he never had a mark on him, doesn't he? Like, look at him. Des Watson just jumping in the super chat game with the couple there. Thank you very much, Des, and a Merry Christmas right back at you, sir. Oh, here comes the flames. Oh, wait. It's just the video. Oh, here's Joshua. There's Wallen. They're both yapping. Exciting times. We'd like to take a break from this boxing telecast for, uh, for, Steve scenes, is a for, for scenes from the Patterson household. <laughs> every time, every time I fucking see Anthony Crawler's face, now I cannot stop fucking thinking of the fucking overdub that Wellington did with fucking Richard D. Hall's voice. <laughs> I'm looking at him now, and he's even talking to Richard D. Hall's Richard D. Hall's voice is amazing. What's he telling you about now? What's, what's um, the voice telling you? Big loud bang in the Manchester arena. I think that's what he's talking about. We'll never forget. <laughs> AJ, do us a favor, man. Go out and spike this guy in one round with you. For fuck's sake, so we don't have to see Wally versus Parker in Riyadh you talk, on a six-hour show. You talk about someone who's got to be pissed, man. Andy Ruiz, who like could have probably beaten that version of Wilder right there and would set himself up for, with a trilogy with AJ. 
He's pissed and stoned, I think. <laughs> it's kind of hard to be both, dude. That's what I found. But like, Well, I don't know. I'm doing my best. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Let's see how we get on. Oh, you're talking like pissed, like drunk. I thought you were talking like pissed off, angry. Sorry. Sometimes those, uh, the you know, the language. Colloquialism. Slang. Yeah. <laughs> Do you even know what an idiom is? Uh, a colloquial metaphor? <laughs> Well, I'll give it the Muhammad Ali treatment. Whatever it says, if it's good, I'm that. I just see a comment here. Joseph Parker exposes another PBC hype job. Jesus Christ, he's a 38-year-old guy at the end of his career. <laughs> Fuck off. He <laughs> is real, man. I hope somebody goes to the senior center and kicks your grandma on the shins. Oh, no, honestly, the hate is real. Great, now we're going to get kicked out for inciting violence because I told somebody to go kick someone's grandma on the shins. He sure does look happy. He also looks like he wears makeup. Well, they probably did that. Well, he's going to fancy this big time, isn't he, after getting that result back in the fucking dressing room? Like, Fraser, oh, man, Fraser, change the script Fraser, here. Fraser Clark saying, our fighters not bothered anymore because they know they're getting so much money. I didn't even yeah. see any sadness in Wilder like he didn't doesn't care. A no price fight or money, a fight for money, sorry, but you have to feel it in your heart. He 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 say he seemed very much I I looked at a lot of the build up stuff this week and I know I'm laughing about the ayahuasca stuff, but I honestly think he's off the fucking reservation anyway. Like a guy that'll make that ten minute video with the spooky piano music and the kind of green screen and all after he lost the second wild uh, the second Fury fight. Like he's always fucking looked like a guy who's on the, and I think he's just gone over the other edge, gone over the other side now, isn't he? Like, and he's just kind of in a happy space, and he's made a ton of money. Like, but that was a very, that was a performance where where he looked like he was just there for the bread, didn't it? Like, just like fucking, I'm gonna hang in here. He seemed gun shy. He didn't like look like he wanted to get hit. He looked like a fucking shell of his former self. Like, so I think there's an element to the money, but they, these guys have always been making money. Maybe this is just like one last fight for life changing money, you know, that way, and he's out. Like, maybe he hasn't got it anymore after the. Like I said, those three fights against Tyson Fury must have taken a lot out of him. He's a guy that naturally weighs 212 pounds. Fury was 270 in one of those fights, wasn't he? Like, fucking battering him for fucking. He gave him a sustained beating over, but apart from the moments where Wilder had success in the, in the third fight, but it was a sustained beating over the second two fights. And when you're taking fucking flush punches from a fella 50 pounds heavier, maybe the fucking fight's just beating out of him a bit. Like, I don't know. But that's definitely what it looked like. And as well as that, a good performance from Joe Parker, but they look like a shaft version of DeAndre Wilder, didn't it? It'd be great now if he just get, says an auto well and win, and then music just turns the tables next year. <laughs> this, is, could, this could stand to be one of the stranger nights in boxing that we've seen in a while. I mean, that... That cab, if you're looking at the numbers, man, that Cavill uh, went over Mahmoudov. I mean, not only was that a, a huge upset, but the way that he did it, it was basically the inverse of of what the fuck of what the book saw on it. It was insane. And I walk Cavill is known for as well, like, but I it just wonder do the fucking does everything go out the fucking window when you go to Saudi because Angano nearly ripped up the script hit me when he nearly knocked Fiori out, like, and gave him a fucking hellish time in what was supposed to be a fucking canter. Deontay Wilder was supposed to blow through Justin Packer. Like, it was, this was not in the script. I wonder, does this affect AJ now going into this? Like, Well, you know? it's, it's interesting. Like, it's you almost have to look at it, like, from the way, like, if you were just, like, a, an average boxing fan and who could throw money around to, to get the things that you wanted done, what would you do? And maybe that's what we're looking at here. It's basically just a just basically an overgrown kid who just wants to buy the fights he wants to see. And, yeah, and, and I'm all, I'm with it. Yeah, like I'm cool. totally with it. It just fucked up the it fucked up what we were getting. Like if he was to do see my my problem with it, not my problem with it, but my disappointment in it is that it, obviously like the heavyweight division is the money money division. But if he say for his his excellency like the lower weights and he decided he was going to make Haney and Tank and fucking I don't know, Matias and all these like say he took the lightweights, the welterweights up and put them all on the fucking same night. He could probably do that at a fraction of the budget that he's used on this one. Like you know, you so know. obviously with, 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 with that money and, and the fact that like you know all the people where you need to pull the strings to make things happen in a country, like it's just easy to make shit happen. Like what's what's the permitting process? Calling your cousin? 
<laughs> fucking nothing. Um, Ryan Deal throwing in another super chat. God love you, Ryan. Says Charles Martin wins all the belts back next year. <laughs> King Charles comes back. Parker rematch beats AJ. Yeah, you're gonna be King Charles one? then by the time he finishes up. <laughs> Do you think he'd be pissed off if you walked up to him and said, Hey, what's up, Chuck Marty? Big Charlie, man, he's back into the game. I think he'd be just happy that someone recognized him to be honest with you. I don't know. Yeah. Here comes come uh Adam Walling is on his way to the ring as on my feed or not. So do you There's want me to pause on my it? Feed. So let's so let's try when it gets to, so Rob, <laughs> don't don't do anything yet. Pause it when you get to the when you get to the opening bell and then we'll, okay, cool. and we'll hit play when these guys catch up, okay? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. We're gonna do our best for everyone here and not spoil it since everyone's been so fantastic coming in and taking part in this. Uh, Boxing Asylum Fight Camp Companion for the Day of Reckoning card in Saudi Arabia. Thank you again to Steve Wellings, Andy Patterson, Danny Young, and Rob Kelly. It's been a good time. It's been a long time. Steve and I have been in here for about four hours. But what would we rather be for that, lads? I would have got here earlier with... if I had known you were there for the fucking full of cards. Well, well, what were we going to do on this around this holiday season? Spend our time with friends, family, and loved ones? No, fuck that. I, mean, I don't think anything guys. worse. I'm looking Great. to see if there's any streams from Nicaragua tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, anytime you just a reason, you have an excuse, right? Just give me a fucking reason. That's all. Yeah, I have a feeling AJ's ring walk is going to be pretty, pretty big, pretty produced. Holy shit. Well, they're doing some sort of an homage right now. Oh, no, not no. It's quarter yeah. past two local time, yeah. says Matt Butters. I, I can't read what's on the screen. It looks like a bunch of squiggly lines, so that's clearly in Arabic. Is AJ going to go on another rant again? He's going to rant himself anthems, to the ring. <laughs> not bloody national anthems again, surely. Oh, no. Not now. We've we done do. so Actually, well. You know what? We've not had a national anthem all night, so fair play to him. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's like I I get it, and and it, sometimes it's cool and stuff like that. But this is such a broadly international event. Who cares? Just treat it like a global event. I guess we should probably sing like "We Are the World." I guess then, huh? You should stand up, Matty, if you had any decency. <laughs> well, the, uh, Matty, I don't want to. What's the uh, what's the odds on Ben Davison to throw in the towel on this fight? The odds, I, I haven't seen anything specifically on that one, but uh, I'll have to look on the corner retirement right there. You, you just wonder ah, when. Surely not. Worry. Well, you know what? In that Warrington fight, he showed that he he uh, was willing to let Lee stand in there Good a little point. bit. Maybe, maybe mm. he learned a little bit of a lesson. Yeah, but he did it He did it for Wood against, um, was it Lara in the first fight? Yeah. Yep. He wouldn't do it for AJ, would he? He wouldn't have thought, because he's more of a hired hand. He wouldn't dare, for, you know. It's not like he's it's like he's not his fighter. He's sort of loaning AJ, isn't he? He's renting him out like Blockbuster video. Yeah. God bless Blockbuster. Mm-hmm. Our good friend Captain Casual uh, says, No infamous Dr. FMG Hail Marys for me tonight. So, boys, you can have the pounds instead. Uh, Wallen to bring home the lambs uh, Triple D slaughtered earlier in Africa. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. That's who was that demo that post says uh, demo that, that is yeah when in Africa exactly well said yep yep when in Africa don't uh, you know forget to check out the rains what people well, we got, with demo on there it just reminded me to big up uh, Derek who was the winner of the uh, yeah boxing asylum prediction league Felt Derek like Eagers Derek. man destroyed yeah. us didn't they yeah absolutely murdered the lot of us yeah so he's brilliant well everybody. done Derek. Do you think that that Toto song actually offends some Africans who live in low lying areas that get flooded often? Like, I guess if you live in a more mountainous village where you don't have to worry about getting wiped out, it's great. It's like, yeah, the rain's beautiful, but if like you know threatens to like take away your livelihood every spring, it sounds fucking awful. You guys, you seventeen eighties pop songs. I sure am. What the fuck has been going on in your head? Just go on to ayahuasca with you. Hey, why <laughs> haven't you sampled Toto, Rob? That's. The <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. James Windsor hasn't got a clue what you're talking about. Matty, he's only 24. Toto's hold the line, by the way. Jam to this day. Fuck me. Oh. Eddie, just, Eddie just said he wants to go and vomit after that result. Yeah. <laughs> 
Was Michael McDonald the lead singer of fucking Toto? Or is that no, no, he was the lead singer of uh, Doobie Brothers. Uh, Doobie Brothers, second, you're right, you're right. It's a number back in the day. <laughs> what about Radio Africa, Matty? Do you remember that one? I do not remember that one. Do you not remember Radio Africa? No, who did it? I'm hearing only bad news. Oh, nope. you sang that? No. Nope. Let me find that out now. Latin Quarter? That must be on your side of the pond. Not a clue. No, 1985. Not sure where they were from. Uh, that's a good year. That's the year I was born. It's a good year. Steve, you're giving your rage away, mate. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, maybe I should just stop. I remember 1985. Just be happy that that was before you hit puberty, Rob. It's not that long ago. <laughs> yeah, there were British music band, Matty, quite right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's just some stuff just doesn't make it over here. Like, especially mm-hmm. you guys have uh, your 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 dance music is a whole lot different than ours. More often than not, like you guys have always kind of had that more EDM lean than we have. That's kind of caught up to some degree. Just not our thing. Here All comes right. AJ. He's walking out in the big white robe again. He's got the big white robe back. <laughs> now it's just because he just got armor. out. Of- because he just got out of the shower, Rob. The guards is probably running after him. It's like, the, the, I got this from the hotel. It's great. What did he weigh in at? Oh, my God. Tonight. Look at that one, Steve. What? Ray is throwing in, uh, what is that, euros? 23 euros, 99. Yeah. No surname either, Matty. He's helping yeah. you out on Pick every up, Ray. Ray, God bless you, Ray. <laughs> says, lads, thanks for the content. Unrivaled work. My big takeaway from boxing in 2023 is never put yourself in a situation where you have to call the cops. <laughs> hashtag boxing, hashtag boss. <laughs> well done, Ray. That's Good almost man. a five hour. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on strike event. in the first fucking year of the first month of fucking 2024. <laughs> Podcasters' rights were striking for. <laughs> Ray, we so Steve, didn't... too busy to listen in. Pints of Guinness to be drank. Fuck Joshua. Go ahead, Dan. I was just going to say, we're, we're 20 quid short of uh, Steve, your target for a turkey for Christmas. So 20 pounds is all we need now, and Steve can get his turkey for Christmas Day. So. <laughs> oh, that means he's going to save, he's going to spare the real turkey that he has out in the fucking, on the farm and just go and get a killed one. He's grown there's, a fe- there's a pheasant that's been teasing me all year, so I might go and get him. <laughs> Steve, oh, if you had a turkey, the kids would have given it a name and you wouldn't have been able to. <laughs> I would have felt bad about wringing its neck. Yeah, that's it, that's it. I I'll tell you I'm what, like, like my, my old man was a butcher, like, and he brought uh-huh. me to an abattoir when I was about like seven. It was probably 1985. Now we think about it, and, <laughs> and I remember thinking, like, Dad, are these cows all right? He was like, Ah, oh, they know they're, they're scrambling, they go out, they, they know that that's what they're here for. And um, this fucking beast was getting pulled up the abattoir, and he was like, No, <laughs> he's like, No. <laughs> And the fucking thing went into its head, and it was like, and it dropped in. And I was like, shit. <laughs> That's what's wrong with me now that we fucking. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes in Napoleon Dynamite is when they're driving the school bus by, and Lyle pops that cow in the head. And you know what they call it? An amnesty gun. <laughs> <laughs> so. True story. This guy I used to know Cliff worked at a, at a meat processing plant uh, about 30, 45 minutes from me. And the guys and they had the job where they have to shoot the cattle in the heads with those bolt guns. Yeah. Like they have to like take two weeks off at a time because you just go totally fucking batshit if you don't get time away from the job of just shooting animals in the fucking head all day long. No, that's that's when I got legitimately scared of me dad because like, he has no problem killing things like he just kills fucking turkeys fucking pigs fucking cows whatever the fuck like some of the neighbors bringing the dogs over to get them put down you know what I mean you don't care like you're using that's the wrong scary. language Rob when I used to do it to the roosters you have to use words like processed or dispatched <laughs> dispatched them to live on a farm fuck me I'll never forget the cow I was like you sure this cow's alright dad he's like I know you know you know what's no. happening <laughs> 
fuck's sake. And just I, like, I think he's getting I think he's having to get the when he sees the rest of his mates hanging on those hooks there in front of us. I think he's having <laughs> fucking figuring this one out. Well. <laughs> oh dear me. Wallen does look pretty good. He looks very focused. All right. And again, when we get to the uh, the first bell, we're going to hit pause. I don't know who's farthest behind, um, but Steve, I'm going to go off of your first bell call. Wallen, okay. I'm getting warm introduced just now. Yeah, me too. Okay. He's from Sundsvall in Sweden. Apparently. I used to summer there. Come on, pull it off, man. What's and while I'm getting the result, you... what you talking <laughs> about the robe that was on AJ, you pervert, fucking weirdo. <laughs> Let's fucking go get a result, put him to bed. I wanted uh, I wanted AJ and, and Wilder to win for obvious reasons, like but seeing as Wilder is fucking shit to bed, I do not want Joey Gamachi to lose to fucking greasy head Ben Davison. So I'm fucking firmly team Wally now. Like. Yeah, that'll really fuck up your Christmas. Like nothing will matter for the next couple of days. I tell you what, what though, if if Wally and all was to pull it off, I wouldn't begrudge Joey Gamachi, one of the fucking nicest guys in boxing. Absolutely fucking mm-hmm. unreal guy, like really, he's really top guy. guy. So he yeah, yeah, I would love him to to have his moment here. Like, oh, there's no sound on the zone. Apparently, we got sound still. Let us know in the chat if you still hear us. There's no sound. Right, on I've the just zone. gone back to the corner, so I'm gonna pause it here. Let me know. Okay, AJ's getting introduced on mine. Still, they're all clapping him. So they've had the face to face roll by. Yeah, yeah, they're both going back to the corners, isn't that? I've just paused it when they're both going back to the corners. So just oh, I, my, my sound's cut out. The zone are going to redirect the feeds to us, apparently, so everyone can listen to us. Be fucking better than what they have. <laughs> That's excellent, by the way. There's, there's no need. Hey, we should capitalize on this. Get it tweeted. Uh, alternative commentary. <laughs> We get shut down. RSPCA, we're fucking closing us down. Right. Uh, they're going back to the corners. You can see Wall in now. Uh, yeah, okay. That's him. I'm going to let it rock. No. I've, I've got it paused on a close up of AJ's face and the look yeah. of fucking fear That's in his eyes, actually. Now. That's what I can see now, AJ's face. And yeah, go. That's us. There we go. But won't the fucking listeners be ahead of us now? This is fucked up. Yeah, but they've no sound. Ah, so... fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. Here we go. Okay, so I'm at two fifty. Yeah, same. AJ just tried to get nice out of the step. side there, but something nice looking step around by AJ. Nice little mm-hmm. step around. Yeah, uh, I see he's been doing that Ben Davison training, unrivaled work, baby. Punching through the target. Looks a lot bigger, doesn't he? More imposing than Valen. Well, the Valen does not grab it. anyway. You give him that mm-hmm. for the start. Yeah. Oh, good job, yeah. Bit cumbersome, but looking a little bit sharper in his last fight. One Jab's minute. Jab's still quicker anyway. <laughs> different gloves, I noticed. Different gloves. Yep, Everlast. And, and just a note, there is... Oh, no good body shot from AJ. Yeah, I target yeah, the body, man. Valen's got a bit of a belly, I think, you know. That hurts him, I think. He has a bit of a podgy belly. We won't hold that against him. No. He's Andy, are those... Uh, is it... Le- how do you pronounce those gloves? Is it Leone, is it, or...? Sierra Leone. Leone? <laughs> Leone. Yeah. Is that what he's That's wearing? Good. Yeah, those punches gloves, do we know? Tell, the, no, they're Italian ones, but I don't think they are, mate. <clears throat> As it uh, was from a member of Prince's band, they're Leon E's. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Apologies for the audio issues. Prince Prince was a man, by the way. He put up some numbers, oh my God. Those One of the most fucking... talented individuals like, in, during my Both life. Both in my lifetime. What if a scan the airways for us, actually? <laughs> <laughs> he had vanity, didn't he? And I'm Apollonia. Sure. That's a fucking hell of a resume. That's um, fucking pound for pound greatness. Gave Carmen Electra her name. Oof. Incredible. AJ looking good, by the way. Give him, yeah, I, I give him credit is. after two after two minutes. He's keeping his left this foot outside the fucking. This right is foot going how I expected it to go. To be fair, this is how exactly how I expected it to go. Wally doesn't look great so far. 
No. Looks a bit flat footed, I think, Valin, doesn't mm-hmm. it? Uncomfortable. The, the body yeah. shot hurt him. The body shot yeah. definitely hurt him. He's a wee fatty now. A little fat man. <laughs> ben Davis is going to step up when he gets us one, by the way. Oh, I'm not going to be able to hear the end of him. But actually, if you know if he's good for AJ, two bullshit together. Whatever works. AJ oh, looking good so far. Volen's, yeah, what's interesting is Volen's the one who's pawing with the jab and AJ's the one who's committing to it. Yeah, Volen AJ, has yeah. assumed the fucking the stance of Deontay Wilder after his first round, hasn't he? <laughs> on the outside offering nothing. I think AJ might be pissed that his fucking page, payday was stolen from him. Uh, Bloody nose and some marking up around the nose as well from Wallin already. Mm. Wallin answers just on the bell and AJ looked like he might have felt that one. Yeah, AJ looks good. Yeah, That's what he needs yeah. to do. Front foot isn't it? Be aggressive, I think. Put Wallin in his place. We're saying apologies for audio issues. This is hilarious. Imagine we were fucking with his own card. Amazing. Big fans of his his excellency here. Anyway, I've known that I've noted that before. We're on record for being huge fans of his excellency. Absolutely, yeah, we are indeed. I hope we didn't get in a super people. chat in a minute. We're going to retire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big Bentley outside the front the, door tomorrow morning. This card is hot. I mean, His Excellency, more like His Sexellency. <laughs> Chris Eubank Jr. there in a bomber jacket in Riyadh. Look at him. Look at him. You can see him. That's really, that's Eubank Jr., isn't it? Is it common to see bombers in Riyadh, Rob? <laughs> You'll never forget. <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> That oh, joke yeah. fucking wrote itself. Come on, gentlemen. Come on. <laughs> Round two started. For... Wally looks like he's trying to get a little bit closer. Oh, I thought he caught Joshua with something there. AJ looking good. I tell you what, right, I've noticed about AJ over the years. He always pawed with the jab a little bit, but he's doing good at using it as a little bit of a fucking occupier for Wally mm. at the moment. He needs to keep his left hand active. Yeah. Yeah, not he's really committing to the job, isn't it? A nice, nice job. Yeah. yeah, and especially considering the fact the Southpaw versus Orthodox, you're doing so much fencing of the jab because you just don't quite have the angle to land it, you know? It's, well, like, uh, it's only around gone or whatever, but he's, so far, AJ's done everything right with a Southpaw. you got to keep him on a jab, as you yeah. said, and drill him with the right hand down the middle, and that's the, he's done that to the body and the head. And he's left hook as well. He landed a nice left hook yeah. there. I'll, I'll tell you that what I'm noticing, and if it's something Davison worked on with AJ – full credit to him, but I noticed that every time that Ballin is able to get his right foot on the outside of Joshua's and get himself into position, Joshua pivots pivots away. Um, mm-hmm. So as soon as he loses position, he's out. Um, I, I like that. I, I really do. Good left hand from Ballin at about a minute uh, 40, I think. Oh, big right hand from AJ. Oh, yep. That, that definitely caught his attention. Another one to follow us while he holds it. AJ looks like he's going for it. Catch a fire a little bit. Do you know what the problem with our commentary is? We all fucking agree with each other. We need contrarians like the old HBO days. We need George Foreman in the mix to fucking completely disagree with everything that everyone's saying. <laughs> make it interesting for the listeners. Valen's doing a great job here. Yeah. <laughs> He's shown a lot of heart. <laughs> AJ better be careful. Yeah. <laughs> He's just uh, lulling him in. The, the problem is that none of us got our glasses from the lesbian collection. That's that's, that's <laughs> what we fucked up. AJ looking nice and relaxed as well. Do you know that he looked very tentative in his last three fights? He looked almost scared at p- points in the fight. He seems completely relaxed in here and confident that's that, enough. That's, that's that Ben Davison psychology, mate. Championship mentality. But he pro- he probably I, AJ like I'm not that surprised that that's a partnership that works because AJ talks in riddles, boxer size yeah. bullshit, doesn't he? Like, yeah, it's I think he he would feed off something like that. Yeah. Probably like I can go into a foreign country when you're around them and hearing them talk. <laughs> AJ's trying to start, uh, trying to stalk a little bit now. Joshua's starting to keep that left hand low. Um, Vonnie uh, gets something, gets through the left, not nothing on it, but just he's trying to be the aggressor a little bit more now. AJ yeah. just looks like he has the edge and speed and power here. He's struggling, Valin, isn't he? He's bloody yeah. as well. Yeah, he's not. He's not making. A, he's not making an impact on him whatsoever. Shit, I forgot to do my scorecard for Ben and him. I have a fucking. 
AJ3 up or two, <laughs> two up in. Thanks for the reminder, Rob. We're trying to do our best to help out our friends on their new venture, which is going pretty well. I like the I like the app. No, the app is class. I, I think our our listeners or whatever love it as well. The box and other scale of life gang. Absolutely, absolutely. Start at round three. Yeah, I got to be honest with you guys. This is the least tentative that Joshua has looked in. Yeah, since the Ruiz he's back before the Ruiz fight, because he looked sort of like shit in the build up to that as well. Remember in the, the ring walking that he looked like. He was scared or something. Look, something looked off at him. Like, but he's nice and relaxed. He's boxing well. He's using the left hand a lot. Volley to come a little bit more active. You'd always have the fear with Joshua if he's still there after six that he gets a little bit more tired and maybe Volley can get closer. But for now, he's in total control. How much of the body as well? BT's uh, commentary is fine, but the zones is a bit of shit. I'm getting bored of this fight, actually, gentlemen. To be fair. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what Vali looks like obviously, doesn't he? Isn't it something that isn't it something else that the rest of the card was more entertaining than the uh the ones at the top? <laughs> this is getting to the point for me is that Josh was good to win by stoppage. He's got to show That was a nice right hand to the body by Josh where they're really I mean, he's certainly down. been he's been more aggressive, he's let the hands go more definitely, but he's got to get the stoppage. Hooking around the guard. I mean, he's he's good right hand. About a minute forty. I think he's going to catch well on with something and just put him in his ass. We'll see. Uh, Volan has shown a pretty damn good beard throughout his career. Left hand's moved well in there. Um, left hook. Yeah. I kind of thought he got a little bit more off balance, though. I thought there was a little bit of tangle of the feet in that one. Bit of blow from the nose of AJ. It looks like nice little Probably jab. Starting to get through a little bit with the jab, a little bit more. Yeah, catching him when uh, with his hand down, and also when he's leaning down, reaching a bit. Yeah, he's abandoned that kind of occupier with the jab, with the left hand. Now he's gone back to form with it, hasn't he? AJ, he's not jabbing as much. And- the left hand's looking a little bit looser. Well, I'm kind of throwing a throwaway right hook there, but I can kind of see what he's looking for there. Volley's swelling under the eyes right now. Volley's doing better off the jab in this round. For a raging there on Twitter about the the sound. Are they? Yeah. Well, don't fucking rage on Twitter. Come on, the boxing asylum, and you get loads of sound. A lot of bitter bastards out there. Bitter bastards. Better out of the body there. Looks a little bit more comfortable, and AJ looks a little bit tired after three (laughs) rounds. Throw the Lucas Aid down the balls now. That's the bent. Get it down there. Well, you know, I mean, is, that's that's an interesting question going down the line. If this fight, uh, you know, gets into the later rounds, you know, is was Davison really able to help Joshua with his fitness a, a bit? Because when you're a big, muscly guy, it is hard to throw, uh, you know, a fair number of punches and get down the stretch oftentimes. You know, weight is weight. Um, and uh, this is definitely a more active Anthony Joshua than we've seen in, uh, in recent memory. Mm-hmm. He realizes, yeah, that activity is the key. There's no point in sitting about being bitter. You got to get stuck in and be consistent. It's the sound back up. I know we've been saying this is the most relaxed AJ has looked in ages, but he hasn't really. He's not doing a great deal, is he? Really? Yeah. There's sound on the DAZN telecast again. He's, he's looking slightly tired after the third round, Danny. Do you think he looks? He looks like 
the, like he was active with the left hand in the first two rounds, and he seems to just be like throwing it as a blinder now and trying to throw the right hand behind it. Yeah, he feels you feel like he's trying more now in this round four than he has in in the previous. But yeah, it's it's, it's still not. I, I'm expecting him to blow blow it well in a way. To be honest with you, I like the way the Good. talk's been gone this week, but it, it, I'm not seeing it so far. You ju- it's just I tell you what this card is making me think when you look at it like you know we talk about the two the two heavyweight areas and you go back to the 90s but Lennox Lewis would have beat the fucking shit out of the four of these guys <laughs> on the one night wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, he would. He would. Uh, I, Lennox uh, by a lot of people I think it gets a bit underrated. I mean he's he's a top 10 heavyweight in my opinion. I I think I think when he was active he was underrated five. but in retrospect 18, he was a lot of 18 people, when he was active. When he was active Mar- he was Mar- massively Mar- underrated. Mar- Americans hated him. Well, well, and he had a hard path too because he, wasn't he a uh, British-born, fought for Canada? Mm-hmm. Eighty-eight Olympics, yeah. Wasn't yeah and he was, he, he was, he was brought up on terrestrial television in the UK, and he wasn't that great, to be honest with you, in his early days. Like I remember the broadcasters apologizing for the quality of one of his fights against a guy called Irish Dan Murphy, who was about fucking looked like Big John Fisher, and Lennox couldn't get him out of there, and. You know, he had different trajectories in his career, but ultimately when he, the version of him that ended up with Manny, like he fucking would have walloped the fucking four of these, like Kaiser oh, I mean, Koba says Ray Fu- Ray Fu- Ray Mercer at his best would have beaten yeah. me. <laughs> Merciless Ray, yeah. Yeah, Mercer was a good fighter. Le- Lennox knew how to control people with a jab, but he knew when to put the foot down as well, didn't he, and get rid of people. Exactly. I just couldn't I couldn't see Lennox Lewis tolerating letting Otto Valley and stay with him for four rounds, you know that way? Yeah, yeah. Big right from AJ there down the middle. Wally and held it. Wally in a nice pair of blue suede shoes. Don't step on him if you're a southpaw fighting an orthodox. Here you go, <laughs> right hook around the side. Little right hook by by Wally as AJ yeah. was stepping in. He's got AJ gone around. to the body. Gone to, AJ looks like he's unloading there in the corner. Yeah, it's a nice right hand. Wally looks tired there. and hurt. Oh, getting pushed down a little bit there. Referee he looks like he's ready to go, Volley. Don't he? It feels like yeah. if AJ just stepped on the gas, he'd fucking be able to take him Stop out. Stop him, I think so. Don't you? I don't know. Nice little jab there by uh, Volley. AJ is stepping in. It's a bad fight, though. It's very poor. If I'm in Wallin's corner, I'd be saying, in, like, that's it. He's had four free rounds now. He needs to step on him a little bit because he's he's letting AJ just get away with whatever whatever he wants really. It's yeah, it's pretty rubbish. Wallen seemed to get rocked by a punch that didn't seem to land. It's a snooze fest, isn't it? It's fucking terrible. Yep. Four poor versions of heavyweights tonight on display. Wilder's shot, obviously, the best version of Joe Parker, who's Joe Parker, and this fucking body and AJ fight. Like, it's not it's not showing as much after four rounds, is it? Yeah. That you deserve to be on a fucking podcast for six hours. To watch. You know, <laughs> it's just you think about Wilder's effort was so disappointing, but I got to look and see what his purse was and then go check the compu box stats and see how much money he made per punch thrown. That's got to be fucking incredible. Like in the tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands. Maybe now tens of thousands. How was Volume in this shape, by the way? And this is a fucking opportunity of a lifetime. He's, a little... He's always a little chunk. He's always a little thick. You know? I think I he looks a bit fatter than usual, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking he looks heavier than usual. I, I thought he looked... that's part of the strategy to want to lie on him and tie him up now like, and get him past six and fucking yeah. make him blow. But I thought the biggest he looked was against Fury, honestly. He's 238. He's too easy to find with the right hand for Joshua as well. you got to feel if he gets close enough or gets in range, he's going to fucking take his head out here, like. Yeah, two thirty-eight. He was about the same for Gassia, right enough, might I say. AJ straight right hand, by the way. What was he for Fury? He was two thirty-six. Really, so he was only two pounds lighter. Huh, I thought he looked bigger that night. Interesting. 
So weight has no correlation over his performances, really. <laughs> well, I get maybe it's just the way he fought that night. He was so in Fury's chest. Maybe it just kind of inflated the way his size looked, you know, just because he fought such a, a physical fight that evening. Yeah. <clears throat> AJ's dominating him right now. He really is. I mean, nothing big landing, nothing I'd be too worried about if I was in uh, Valine's corner, but he, he's definitely not winning the rounds at this point. It's just good stuff from AJ, isn't it? It's just right hand upstairs, downstairs, like keeping him on the jab. He's starting to pump the jab a little bit more. Not what well, I want to say good stuff, but it's just basic stuff that fucking Wallin doesn't seem to have any answers. Like, does he? Oh, he's got him there, has he? Big shot there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, good gone. hook by AJ. Big shot. Going to the body, back upstairs, going up again. Wallin trying to up, covered up, covered up. Wallin's face up. looking battered now, blooded. Getting under that shot, AJ. Def he's deflecting. Vaughn's deflecting off the gloves now. He's definitely on the defensive, but I think he's got his wits about him. Not looking good, though, for the... Oh, he's sweating the badly as well. Oh, big right hand from Joshua. I feel like the fight's already over and the listeners are fucking... Because we're about 30 seconds behind that. If you look at the chat, they're all going and on. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> AJ in total control after five anyway. Could they by KO right now, like mm. shit to your bed, Steve. Alright. Yeah, well, he's, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gonna swallow it here. After round six. He's gonna swallow it here, Valley, you know that. Don't know about you, broke, boy. He's got a broke nose, I think. Uh. I don't know about you, lads, but... I, I mean, quit. Oh. I was right, the fucking bastard. Anyway, he fucking quit. No Go way. Bit. Stool job. Has he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I fucking knew it. I said it when he fucking went... Just the way he went back to the ring, that I was like, That's, this cunt's going to swallow this. Like, he didn't oh, that's really disappointing from Otto after we've been, you know, arguing for him to get an opportunity like this for so long. It was just bad as it fucking the way it ended. Like, AJ, he was there for the stoppage, like, in his first line of adversity, fucking jacked it. That's poor from former friend of the pod at Otto Valen. Yeah. Always friend of the pod, but still disappointing. <laughs> former revoked friend of the pod there. Can't believe he's done that. <laughs> There's a lot of former friends of the pod. <laughs> All right, yeah. A lot of former <laughs> friends of the pod. You've got nothing better don't to do. Keep coming back. I don't think we're going to see Otto Valen again. To be honest no, shit. I don't think so. I can't believe he's he's quit on the stool. I've got to go and pill him. Fucking you with yeah. the way when he went when he took when he went back that time. I was like, this fucker's going to swallow this. Like, and then I just seen in the chat they were like, he quit, he quit. I was like, yeah, bastard. Anyway, I should stop cursing. Fuck me, we're going to be thrown off. Yeah, I might as well. To, to to like AJ AJ versus Parker like do we want this like or do we need this at all can AJ just sit, step aside and wait for fucking the winner of Usyk Fury now like Davis Davis number one all the credit and I yeah well it was a good it, it was it wasn't an amazing performance it was like it's not like he's looking up at the fucking sky you now and standing up on like it wasn't that kind of performance but it was a competent job I guess and Volley not offered fuck all basically didn't he in the fight like he was terrible. This fight has told me nothing, to be fair. No. Like, but he, I I, I think he looked a little bit better. He looked a little bit better, looked more relaxed, looked more comfortable, looked like he could compete again. I don't think he has anything for Fury or Usyk, does he? Like, but... No. But then, like, I mean, if, if we believe that, you know, Ben Davison is going to be his trainer going forward, then, like, I'm not being funny. He's taken no damage whatsoever. He needs to get himself on the undercard of... Fury Usyk against someone and be blasting them out, not quitting on the fucking stall. Like he needs to put a show on. You can't, you can't do that. Doesn't help him at all. Someone quitting on a stall does not help him at all. Eddie will be selling it now. Like he broke him down. He dominated him. He, he took his will. He took the will of Wally. Where's Wally's will? <laughs> <laughs> And oh, fuck's sake. 
<laughs> Ryan hopping on there with us. Is that Ryan Deal? Yeah, that's Ryan Deal. I just say, Matty, quickly, it's four forty-five here. Four hours forty-five. I'm, I'll go. I don't know what you boys want to do. I'll go till yeah, five I'm, hours. I'm, yeah, I'm I think that's perfectly fine. Whoever wants to go, go. Sitting. You got fifteen minutes now, and put in the stream yard in the chat if you want to come on and have a, and say something. Feel free, Ryan. I'm going to have hours. at it. We've been talking long enough ourselves. Yeah, the floor is yours, sir. She's you little boys. All right, Andy. Cheers for coming on. Cowboy L. Fucking out Wally, man. You look whiter than me. What the fuck was that? I was expecting him to at least win a few rounds and push AJ, but that was, that was poor, that was. That was enough in performance. AJ dominating him, though, beyond the jab, right, man? You need to, we need to give AJ his props here. Oh, no, he couldn't miss with the jab. He, oh, wow, he just stood in front of him and did nothing, no. That's poor lad is. Oh well, and I should have hit himself there and think. Well, that's a big step. So like, you're not going to get another big one after that. Like he got, he got the Gassiev shot. Gassiev would have put in a better performance there. He'd have thrown him to the body. He'd have brought a hair transplant at least. Mm. Poop throwing 199 in there, and he still says, uh, "The question is who wins between Wilder and AJ." <laughs> I, I wouldn't be shocked if they still chase that fight, honestly. Look, I, yeah, I could see it. I could see it probably being on the undercard, actually. Like um, Danny said, there as fucking the they could probably make it on the Usyk fucking Fury undercard. When's that match? Or February. February seventeenth. Ah, it's February. Maybe a little bit too soon. But he hasn't taken any damage. Like, what's the? You know what I mean? Neither did Wilder, well, really. really. <laughs> yeah, it's um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I love this format. And getting the big names together and getting them all on the same card. Like, when would you get Dubois and Miller and Bivel and fucking AJ and all of them on the same card? I love the format, but the just results and the fights didn't pan out the way we thought. Like, um, volume was a fucking basically a heavy bag there. Like tonight, wasn't he? he didn't look, didn't look any way. He didn't offer anything at all. I think he had one decent spell in the third round and then jacked it at the first side. And then Wilder offered nothing in the fucking park of fight. Absolutely fuck all. So disappointing night of action but i like this format and i like these kind of events if that get, if that makes sense mm -hmm. yeah the idea was there the spirit of it was there it just didn't quite deliver on all of the on all of the fights um uh rostel rostel zeal says log it now lads hergovic aj next year for the vacant ibf after the winner of the undisputed vakes uh, i like that fight Co compared to what else there might be i like that fight i don't think they'll fight zhang you know i think it'll be too much of an issue Steve, I just want to add there, like I put it in our private chat there, but I think I think AJ is an easier target for Wilder than Parker was tonight. I, I just think because he's so upright and static, I think that makes him more susceptible to a to a big Wilder overhand right. But again, it has to be the Wilder we, that we kind of once knew. Wilder couldn't get off, dude. I don't think he. I don't. I don't know. Like I think, but then AJ didn't look like he could really get off tonight either, did he? Like it was tentative he didn't no. go for it really did he like he didn't have to it was just i was way more him, i was way more impressed with the six fights beneath this well you know not each and every one of them but i i thought those were more bang for your buck than the last two yeah i think Dubois miller was the best one what about um Parker, Dubois, Ryan? Yeah, let's see that yeah well yeah wouldn't mind yeah. Yeah. the end of the season that's what i say Cabriel breaking mate. down the beast, man. What have you got against Mac Moodov? He seems like a nice guy. Yeah, a nice guy when he's, you know, not getting tested in Montreal. <laughs> Let's see what happens when he gets to Saudi Arabia with a German. It can spark out. That's what happens. And it'll happen to, it'll happen to Petervia as well, I reckon. Callum Smith, come on. That's about it. <laughs> nah. it AJ's doing his post-fight speech there. I don't know what's <laughs> going on in it, but it's not nice. Oh, gosh, I did to think. It'd be, it'd be something about Palestine, I'm sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what about Parker, though, Ryan? A uh, big win in New Zealand. Uh, what time is it over there at the moment? Must be at, what, 8 in the morning? Ah, uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, all right, okay. Uh, it hasn't stopped me, though. I've been, uh, I've been here since 5 a.m. since Frank Sanchez, so... Are they all out in the streets, like, honking the horns in the cars and all that, because Joe Parker's after winning? <laughs> Mate, they'll they'll do that regardless. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter with Joseph Parker's fight, and they'll be out honking the streets. Fucking, there's some shit music from the islanders, man. Fuck me. 
it, yeah, they, it, that, not, so, um, uh, not Joseph Park put it, he put in the performance that he needed to, but it was he wasn't he didn't do enough to win, and Mark Wilder didn't do anything really. I'll, it's it's more Wilder. Yeah, it's, we were saying that like I we felt, we felt like Rob fucking. Man. Paco was boxing within himself, wasn't he? Because he didn't have to kind of exert himself to get to the win. It was just he was just doing enough to win each round. Like, and he was obviously that he took his moment when he when he landed the big right hand. But after that, it felt like Wilder didn't want to know. Did that? It's like you know that that that, that slow motion replay. It's like when he blinked his eyes. It was like fucking first Bueller's day off or something. It was like what the fuck am I doing here? Fuck this! Like fuck boxing. He didn't want to. He didn't want to engage after that. But I agree with you. Like Paco didn't have to like, go to the well or anything to beat him. It was just like a bad version of Wilder. And a very bad version of Ali, like wasn't it? Yeah, I think Parker did what he needed to. Wilder's got to be the biggest disappointment of the night. I mean, that's a guy who he, he throws that one one two down the middle. It doesn't matter where it lands; it's going to affect you. And he didn't throw it once tonight. And Parker was sat there the whole night, ready for it. And yeah, that's the end of Wilder. Really, he can't he can't come back from that? He can't. There's no way to justify that performance, is there? So. Yeah. I mean, Park goes up to the next one, but who does he really fight? Who does he really beat? He's not going to beat AJ in that in that form, is he? You know, we don't need to see that on a on a twenty eight dollar design fucking pay per view. You know, fucking audio, do we? Yeah, no. yeah this uh, definitely an interesting way to kind of close out the year here uh i think the only thing that would be a little bit stranger than what happened to the things that happened tonight would be uh if we ended up seeing uh uh to paulus uh topple it in a way I, that would be uh, careful what you say matty be careful what you say. Bad, okay, okay no that's, chance. What that's gonna be a draw <laughs> it's, it's, fuck. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking dead by destruction isn't it Listen, man, there's that? more chance there's more chance of me getting some from the missus on Christmas Day than there is of fucking Tapalos being <laughs> anyway, all right? When all is right. that on, Maddie? Uh Tuesday. Oh, nice one. That's there. Be... Those Japanese cards are on a good time for or something. Yeah, about oh, lunchtime. Okay. About lunchtime, yeah. I think. Maybe a little earlier. He fucking beat the shit out of Stephen Fulton, didn't he? <laughs> anyway, holy shit, there were like bullets to shots. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, I don't think Fulton's going to be the same after that loss either. Like, I don't that think was... he is yet. Yeah. Fuck me! It, it just he totally shocked him. Next to Yildirim yeah. from the Steve Wellington fucking night train. It's Inouye's technique is fucking scary, and the sound of the punches when he lands on anyone they are like fucking gunshots. Oh my god! Yeah, it's like they're just not only does he hit hard, but they're snappy. You know, you, you use that yeah. rare combination where it's where it's turns his hand just the right second just to get the fucking maximum impact. Like, and he's, um, he's amazing. Here's Eddie now, bullshitting. Looks like he hasn't had a shave for fucking two weeks, by the way. What's going on with him? Might have lost the love of his life. You never know these things. Yeah, it looks like Sky's not answering the WhatsApps or something. He's looking a bit ragged here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Right, folks, I'm going to fucking call it a night because that's enough fucking boxing action for me. Uh, happy Christmas uh, to all the listeners and, and happy holidays and all that. And I'll see you in the new year and all the panelists. Uh, can't believe we've done another year of this shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Have a, have a good one. Nice one, Rob. Cheers. Rob. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Right, five minutes, Matty. Do you want to wrap it up? Yeah, why don't why don't we go ahead and wrap it up? This was a crazy night of boxing that we have seen, or afternoon, or morning. It's it's been all over the place. It's I think uh, between all the time zones, we've kind of wrapped up a full freaking twenty four hour day somehow. Uh, so uh, we we kicked uh, everything off with Frank Sanchez uh, taking a win over Junior Fa, uh, and then we had uh, Philip Her- Philip Hergovich, uh knocking out. Uh, uh, Mark DeMori in the first round. Uh, Jaya Pattaya with a first round stoppage as well over Ellis uh, Zorro. God, let's try to think. That was three of the fights that are there. Well, what else do we have there? There's <laughs> Bivol beat Arthur on points. Bivol beat Dubois Arthur on beat points. Miller. Shout out to a good performance in Dubois tonight. He yep. wrote a lot of opinions and 
he launched Padford the, the second stage of his career, I think. And the gab has just been left hanging for about 15, 20 seconds by AJ as well. In both sides. <laughs> yep. And another big upset, uh, you had uh, Ashit Kavael taking out uh, Mahmoudov. That was uh, a heck of an upset earlier. And then obviously Parker with the decision over Deontay Wilder and AJ knocking out uh, while well, getting retirement on the stool of Otto Wallen, uh early on, far earlier than the over-under was. That's for damn sure. So what a, uh, a night it was from Saudi Arabia. Uh, we had a good time. Ryan Deal topped on here with us. We uh, also uh, had Rob Kelly, Andy Patterson, Danny Young, Steve Wellings. Uh, it's It's been a good time. Steve, did I miss anyone in that bunch there? Um, probably, but fuck them anyway. But, well, but, Barry W. throwing in a five-pound super chat to end it. Says, cheers, lad, ha- lads. Happy Christmas to you and yours. Uh, and that's to go along with uh, Kaiser Koba. The Dr. FMG, Ryan Deal, John O'Donovan, uh, Anthony, uh, Mick DeLowry, uh, James Windsor, Des Watson, Captain Casual, Ray with a big one in there, Beat Bop Boop, uh, and also Barry W. just threw in. Thank you to everyone for uh, participating in this mm. and uh, kicking in. We really appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, Steve, if you have nothing else to add. I'll just say post-fight pod after Inuita Parlez all being well. We'll do that. Uh, so we'll speak to you in what? When's that? Tuesday, is it? Tuesday. Yeah, I'll try and do that. And whoever wants to jump on can do if you want. Oh, fantastic. Well, we thank everybody for joining us and being part of this boxing fight companion for the Day of Reckoning card from Riyadh. I have been your host, Matt DiGelinardo. You folks have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you, Matty. Good job. You got it. Let's knock it out with the good old outro. We'll never forget. Yeah, we just got up. Go to Edinburgh! We want to be honest, yeah. Crying like a little bitch. I've never met a fucking soul that can fight me. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. You're a fucking bum. You're a fucking asshole. Rump or fucking stealth skin. But allegedly, Oscar Rivas has, 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 failed, has failed a test. Seven year aim. Seven year aim. I will fucking smash. Fuck are you. I hope you fucking die. Be safe. I love boxing sounds. It's as simple as that. Sports Social Podcast Network.